Monday morning, and it is Collider Live. That's right, Collider Live coming in hot Monday through Wednesday, 10, 12 p.m. PST, or whenever you want to, honestly. We're up on the Apple Podcast. We're everywhere. It is our fourth show here back. Collider Live, and I am Christian Harloff. And the happy-go-lucky Mr. Uh, Mark Ellis is with me. Yeah, I'm here! <laughs> What's up, buddy? Christian Harlow! How you doing? Say random words loud! Yeah. What is that? Random words loud? Is that what I was doing? It was <laughs> no, like popping in it, and out? It, it was really great, yeah. and you you know, we had a fun debut show last week. We did. And then you seem like you're really in your element now. Like, this is like you were put on Earth to do to create more women for Earth, just what you're doing yes. proudly. <laughs> yeah. Two girls, and you were also put on this Earth to... Host a morning show. I love and it. And that's what that felt like. I do love it. I do love this morning show. It's it's one of my favorite things that we've ever done so so far in our illustrious career here. Is this uh I it's been I feel like that's a shot at me. You were on the first show. <laughs> <laughs> were. I said it's one of Finally. My, I said it's one of my favorite things. I, said it's one I didn't of. know you were coming back. You could say top ten. I mean, top, you know. Well, yeah. I said it's one of it could be top twenty. I mean, it felt like it was your favorite thing. Fine, it's my ultimate favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> my favorite show was Wednesday when you weren't here. If I um, if I told you if yeah. I if I said name one memory from from Schmo's no like that that is like the one that you think of first yeah, and foremost like, like Hamill. right off the bat yeah, Mark Hamill Oh really Yeah it's a, it was a, that was a big one Yeah Why do like, you sound so sad about it Because it was just it was that was it that was the one it was the like, like, it's all gone downhill yeah. No because there's so many there's so many big ones but I mean the, it's it's kind of the easiest the Mark Hamill interview to me you know Star Wars for so many reasons has shaped uh my love for film and so many things I've done in my career and then to actually talk to him on the phone and, and, and to teach him about Star Wars canon on yeah. the phone and then he did our intro as the Joker. I mean, there was a lot of epic moments there at the Afterbuds students, uh, students? Stu- uh, studios? Well, you were teaching. Yeah, it was. And I was getting taught as well. So See, that's, one. that's one. That's But like, it's funny that because my mind doesn't first go to when I think Schmoes knows still, I don't automatically go to the live show first, although I have great memories and experiences there. First thing I think of when I think of Schmoes Dumb and Dumber. Is pretty the Dumb and Dumber. Is that really? Is yeah, the Dumb and one. Dumber 2 it's intro. It was pretty, uh, pretty epic. It's good. Can pretty we epic. actually bring that? Can we bring that up? We can probably, that's the beauty of it. We can actually bring. It was bring Dumb up, and Dumber 2. It was Dumb right? and Dumber 2. Bring yeah. up the Dumb and Dumber 2. We'll just watch and listen to the actual intro of it because it is class. About 40 seconds long. And, and but it's you got to hang with it because there's more. It's great. Have you ever yeah. seen this, Roxy? Uh-uh. So Roxy Stryer and Brett Sheridan. Brett, have this you ever good. seen this? I don't think so. All right, turn the volume up on this one. So this was, this was from 2014. And. There you go. One of the most anticipated. <laughs> Just watch my face. He was look, so look. tired. I was he so pissed. So, and you can hear the so dog. Mad. There's a dog barking in the yeah. background. Then <laughs> we yeah. start to look win him over. Oh, yeah, you look. rubbed way yeah, too watch, hard. Watch, watch. Because because it's good. The dog starts barking. <laughs> look. <laughs> the, it was so loud and obnoxious. I miss that sweatshirt. I like that sweatshirt. And my hat. Yeah, the dog starts going nuts. <laughs> it was dog. It was like from across the yeah. way. It was yeah, like it across was, the yeah, street. The we woke the dog up. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. Fucking dog. Oh, that was it. That starts. Yeah. But anyway, that yeah. was a yeah that, awesome. that was that was a good one. First was, one I think of. Yeah, that was a good one. Um, and to to go down memory lane with us here today, Roxy Stryer is back. Hello, Roxy oh, fans yeah. are loving you. Hey, that's great. Yeah, yeah. at least somebody is. At least somebody is. Yeah, they, they're they're not liking uh, my what? beef with Brett though. They don't well, well, the afterthoughts guys didn't. Yeah, I saw a couple I comments. Don't know if it was on a it beef. Too. It was question. You were having questions. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, yeah. I think you are an intriguing human being. You do bust his balls. Though, I'll tell you that. The first thing this morning, um, that's she true. she looks over to Brett and, like and and asks him, t- are "You funny on the Twitter?" <laughs> Like, well, that she she okay. said it. She said it like a grant. She's it like, "Are you funny on Twitter?" Yeah. Well, first of all, everybody knows that I like somebody to make my tweets for me because I'm not as funny as I would like oh, to be. Oh, you were and, using for help. Uh, yeah, I was trying okay. to use it. Oh, you have and a ghost all, tweeter. Yeah. They, they don't come around very often. That's right. why my tweets aren't very good. <laughs> but second of all, I, he had already let me down this morning. What did he do? Well, I walked in. I said, do you have good selfie arms? Mm-hmm. Because, does you ever know what a selfie arm is? Is it no. like the long arm that you use to take a selfie? Yeah, somebody's good at taking selfies. Yeah. I have really crappy selfie arms because they're really short and stubby. Right. And so I can't really get multiple people in the picture. And I was trying to show this is friendship. We're going up together. And he was like, I could do it. 
And then he took one picture and it was mm. blurry. Yeah. And he was like, I forgot, I have very shaky hands. I try. said I could try. Yeah. And what about looking at me made you think I had long arms? Right. Longer than like, mine. Right. You didn't sell, you didn't sell yourself like this, this is gonna fucking, crush. This bobblehead right. frumpy body. Yeah, he's got long arms. He'll do a good selfie. Well, just I just say straight up no. See, no not, I don't not, have those arms. I'm not upset with you. I'm I'm aimed to please. Listen, I'm not upset with you for that because I think you were trying your hardest. I am upset with you for something else, though. <laughs> oh, boy. This is, the, this is the text I get this morning from Brett. <laughs> Brett says, uh, he sends me this thing because Janina Gavankar was supposed to be on today. She couldn't yeah. make it. She'll be, she'll be on soon. But Schmo's no legend? Schmo's, no, I don't think she's ever on Schmo's. Um, <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, what was it? Collider Jedi she's Council. She's on Jedi Council. She's Josh Purdy. She, she's from uh, Dr uh, True Blood. She was Star Wars. Uh, she, L no, word. Lady with the, uh, with the orange dress Schmoville from the Royal Wedding. Legend. Yeah. yeah. Schmoville Legend. Sure. Yeah. Um, but the, Good save. Yeah. But the point is, she wow. was in here to. She was in here last week, and I ran into her and said, Would you like to come on live? She said, Absolutely. She just couldn't make it today. But Brett sends me this video that they did together, right? Mm -hmm. It was great. Very funny. And I'm going to show it to her. And then he says, and I told him that she's not coming. He's like, "Oh well, I was gonna write to you and say, uh, hey, can I can I uh, have the day off today?" I was like, "Oh, why? You know, you got something something happening with the kids? Because I'm trying to recover from Vegas. Fuck off! Uh, I was like, I'm trying to recover from Vegas. Because like, you're old and you can't handle Vegas anymore. I can't handle. No, it was like 50 50 amazing, and then just please kill me. I want to go home. Right. I almost took a flight home." The first day. You were what done. were you there for? I was done. I was there just uh, my brother's buddies. You go to Vegas a sneaky amount of times. Well, wait. So you why, why'd you go? They, to party? My brother's buddy yeah. uh, invited us all out there. He the whole thing about me going was something I'd never get to do. It was a, the, the the cabana at the rehab. At, in, in the Hard Rock. Okay. So facing the stage, you know, bottle service, the whole night, I didn't have to pay for a thing. And it was, yeah, I mean... 15 I years ago, your dream, oh, nightmare God. this time. Yeah, now I'm like, you people are gross. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't objectify these women! What a <laughs> these are someone's daughter! <laughs> So what, well, what? It was sick. There was a guy. They, if you want to talk to a woman, uh, the host, you just point them out, and they'll bring them up to you. Don't you better dare not. <laughs> but I, I always, I, I just immediately cock block myself because I just, you know, I get so, so like a girl come up, hey, and I'll go, I'm married, I have two kids, I love her, um, <laughs> and then, then they can, then they feel safe. Right, right. right Did any good. of your friends engage in the more um, well, that was lurid what, activities offered? Well, that kind of was bugging me too. Is I didn't know a lot of these guys, and you know, uh, oh, that's the worst. And and yeah. I don't. Then it's like all these girls come in, they're sitting on this couch with me, and I'm like, hey, any single guys over there want to? Come chat with the... No, you're good? Okay. So... Do you have social anxiety when you're talking to new people? Like, oh. Do you need a couple drinks to get you there? Well, yeah, and they yeah. had a few there. <laughs> uh, they'd make you like this big sippy cup with a straw where you're... See, I don't, I don't like bottle service because no, no oh, it's a scam. Well, it, yeah, it's, it's like eight hundred dollars, and people yeah. say, "Oh, it's, it's like," but I don't want to ever drink the fancy sky vodka. Like I actually do just it's enjoy how they beers. make their money at the table. It's, it's a scam, and they, they want, to, they want to make you seem like you're high class and everything too. And like if you are not, and you just get lucky to hold one of those, you go into a panic yeah. with those bottles because it's like again because you're trying to impress like whoever, whoever's with you. you got you the know. one asshole. What kind of mixers you want? We can get cranberry oh, juice. We get orange table. juice. Those tables. Those the bottles. Bottle service. Roxy, well, then, the, uh, he was there for free, though. He, he wasn't paying for anything. This sounds like a bunch of complaining from somebody who went for free, <laughs> willingly, to Las Vegas, knowing what he was getting into. Well, oh. I, what are you, my wife? Uh, I'll bitch I'll, I'll bitch about free. If I'm not comfortable, yeah. free means nothing. No, to me. really. Yeah. I thought it was something. So buy the, yourself some beers, right? It's, right. It's, Let the right. man defend himself. Okay. It's it, let's take for instance right. going into legal marijuana shops right now. This is something I thought of, you know in college like oh this would be awesome cool right. I walked in there the other day to check it out. I go I got to check this thing out. This is something I've never. I go in there. First of all, I feel like I'm doing something bad. Like, like I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm 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 over forty. I'm here. Right. I'm legal. <laughs> and then they're like, well, what do you want? And the, you know, big bad joint. I'm like, do you have that CBD stuff that doesn't make you high at all and just helps your back pain? That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> so this sort of a thing when I was 18 was like, yeah. Right, right, right. now I'm like, oh my back. Right. Yeah. You, you just know where they have. Uh, but you were always uncomfortable in, in the social situations uh, too. I would tell you, have we told the fight the fight story on air before? I think the we fight might story. Have. Well, so my my buddy Ian. And I went to so there was this bar around the corner the, the, from my place. You remember Saint Nick's? Saint Nick's. It was the best. And and who's was, the who's the actor that has the sign? 
Which sign? The, 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 there's an. Uh, now oh, I, I, I yeah, gotta look yeah, him up. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. gonna look him up. What year are we talking right now? Saint Nick's. Ian. Closed so, in 2000. Ten, That's when it's say. closed. So St. Nick's, you would have loved St. Nick's. St. Nick's was a uh, was just kind of a very chill bar. We used to go there. I mean, back then, I was doing stand-up all the time. We were there four or five nights a week. We were there a lot, hanging out. Weekends were, were the big ones. So this is back in like 2000 and I'd say three. Um, and Brett Brett came by, and my, my buddy Ian, um, who was a, uh, a, a, was a lunatic in the best way, but he, um, he was a maniac, right? So he would find himself in, in these scraps, at, at St. Nick's a lot of the time, so there was one. And Brett's bad not, drunk, not necessarily a bad drunk, no. But he was he was like he was he was probably five like eleven, but he was he was tricky strong, like he was sneaky strong. He w- he had the best qualities of uh, any short guy in a group. Like yeah, anybody yes. who's like the shortest person in a group is going to be the one that ends up he, trying to punch a cop. Yeah, well the thing, well he wouldn't punch a cop. The thing the thing is with Ian, he was like um, he, never with his buddies, right? Never scrapping with his buddies. But the thing is if you know, there was something going on, and, and somebody opened their mouth. Like, even if he was like, ah, don't worry about that guy. He's just a drunk. Ian's stepping up to the guy <laughs> and saying, and he had, and he was Welsh, right? And so he was just, yeah. he, he was a guy, he, you know, it was, it was charming, but the next thing you know, he's throwing the hands. Yeah. And he was, um, and he was hysterical, but him and Brett are drinking, and he was a great drink. He was a great oh, buddy to, to drink with. He was a really funny dude. Oh, we were dancing, the, the bunch of girls on the dance area right. there, just living it up. Having Back a when you time. approved of that sort of thing. And well, I, yeah. I he mean. was so, but <laughs> Brett, dance area. Brett, but I, Brett and I, and we all, and I you left, know the dance I area. left early, because I lived right around the block, so yeah. I'm like, I'm leaving, he's like, I'm going to go hang out with Ian and go, and I said, okay, cool. <laughs> I Brett think gets, you told me like maybe you shouldn't. Yeah. I, oh, I definitely <laughs> told you that because I know what what usually happens. At, at, there's there was a point like around like one o'clock in the morning. If you're still with Ian at one, it's like look out. Now, now it's choose your own adventure. Yeah. yeah. Good luck to you. Um, and I left, and then Brett's like, I'm gonna go hang out with Ian and go. So it's probably three in the morning, and he comes, and Brett's like, pretty sure I got knocked out. Yeah. He's like, I was in a fight. <laughs> Uh, but I don't remember much. My head hurts. Yeah, and yeah. you got so no, the last what thing, happened? Well, no, this was it, we were dancing with their ladies and whatever. Yeah. I love to dance. I'm, I wasn't trying to pick up these girls at all. It's somebody's daughter, Brett. At yeah. rehab, I danced my ass off. Right. I mean, I was just out but there. But you weren't just, filthy. You were just the funny. Guy. I would just yeah. love it. Yeah, I'm just having fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, and then the people, can I can't believe Brett dances. Right. He looks like a schlub. <laughs> um, no, but I could picture it. I dance mm-hmm. like a mofo. Okay. Um, so yeah, we're out there and we're dancing, and then I hear something, and we kind of get pulled outside, and then he looks at me and he goes, Brett. Run. <laughs> That's the last thing I remember because it's like, oh, okay. Boom. Boom. Yeah, you just got so right. Just right yeah. on the side, knock me down. Really? Yeah. So oh, it was wasn't Ian stuff. getting mad at Brett. It was no, somebody no, 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 else no, no, no. Ian from was, the other no, party. No, yeah, Ian, no, no, he Ian was like punching yeah, he, three guys at Ian, one. Ian, I saw Ian knock out three guys by himself. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah, he was that. He was, and I'm telling you, he wasn't like a big dude. He was, he was a skinny guy, but he was quick and he just had like rocks for hands. Yeah. And he's, he's doing this, and he's got. He's, like he's, yeah. he knows it's trouble. He knows I got no fight in me. Oh yeah, so are you not a fighter? And you never no. fight? No, no, no. no, no. no. So I, my them... mouth gets me in trouble, but I, right. I, I, I always had huge friends, so I never had right. to back any yeah, of it. And up. Now, if there was only one person <laughs> with him. It was like two people, and it was uh, Ian and Brett. Then Brett would have been fine, but there was like what five of them? Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I've tried to throw. Any time I got in a fight, and I tried to tried to throw a punch. Yeah. There, I, one time on Sunset, there was these guys, and I I went for one, and then it was somebody hit me here, and went for another one, and somebody hit me from this side, and I yeah, said, "What at a time!" Right, right. Like they're gonna follow some sort of fight yeah. rule. I haven't <laughs> thrown a punch since uh, college. Oh, yeah, college is the last punch? one, huh? Why'd you throw a punch? I was in a fight. I was in a couple so fights. Why? <laughs> some drunken. Like, well, I didn't like the sloppy Joe's. So Wait, I the, Who were you in a my English with? professor, total <laughs> asshole. Just, just whacked him. Right. I got B that, plus. I walked right up and I was like, "I'll teach you about yeah. Robert Frost." Well, why'd you get into a fight? Um, a Somebody girl, hit you first. Frat party. Girls? No, I don't think it had anything to do with uh, with, with ladies. Yeah. I think it was. I think it, there was there was one instance where the frat was like trying fighting. to kick people out. Oh, or okay. uh, oh, you I weren't can, in it. I can turn just, it on. No, okay. I was in it. Yeah, I, I, I no, was, no, no, no. I meant in the fraternity. This like, guy. No, was, yeah, no, 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 no. It was like it was a freshman. And they were like they that were, guy couldn't fight. That guy would get knocked <laughs> out. They were being dicks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, yeah, I the ones that I remember, I, I was okay in. 
<laughs> but yeah. then there's a couple other ones where when you wake up, you're like, oh, what's this new scar? Right. And uh, but yeah, not since. Not, but that's one of the reasons why whenever I go out to like a birthday party or something, or I'm at a bar, I I will Irish goodbye. And one of the many reasons for that is just because I when I'm done, what's you're Irish done. goodbye? I, it's when you, you leave, leave without, without telling anybody. Oh, that's, oh yeah, that's like the Dagnino special, which we'll talk yeah. about yeah. him in a second. I, I, I used to call it drunk ninja uh, uh, goodbye, like yeah. but because you're just so secretive. Right. But then apparently the term is Irish goodbye, yeah. and I'm great at it. Cause, and, but people know I'm going to do that now because yeah. I just because then you have to walk around and, like say goodbye to everybody. Is that a nice thing to do to people? No, because no. it takes like 30 uh, minutes, and when I'm done, so I'm leave a half an hour early. Done. I'm just no. I'm just done. Yeah. And I and I want. Yeah, leave. I don't think you've ever said goodbye to me not no. once. No, I'm I, okay with it. I've said hello. Yeah, that's true. Because well, he's explained himself. It's not just like to you. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just it, I, I just if, if it's if it's your birthday. I'm, I think like when I went out for drinks for your birthday, I think I said bye to you. Well, that's but a I'll, very I'll, like small... I'll hug you, I'll say hey, happy birthday. By the way, I'm right. leaving. Don't tell me. There's maybe like ten people there. <laughs> if you didn't say bye, it would just be you walking away. I'd say bye. Like right. you, you have to if you're in a group of ten or less. I, when, when Christian uh, hosted me at his house, I Irish goodbye out of the house. <laughs> just outside playing no, basketball with Vivian. I'm just you? like I'm leaving. I don't think that's true. I think you said goodbye. <laughs> I just left her with a basketball. Yeah, hey, Vivian, I'll be right back. She's still waiting for you in the yard. <laughs> um, Christian, you fight. I mean, I used to. But like my the last my actually uh, funny enough my last fight I've ever been in was with Ian yeah um, I it was it, it was it, there, there were these guys that were I was at this bar I was home not Saint Nick I wasn't no it was at uh, um, Barney's mm. and I was I was home great place to fight yeah mm-hmm. well I but I was home and then we were just kind of, I was uh, my buddies and we were just it was Adam and we were just everybody was just kind of smoking and the Winkle out. Man came yeah and and then Ian stayed at the bar and he comes back and he's like I just got jumped. He's like, a bunch of guys just jump me. And I was, we were like, all right, well, let's go up there. And we had a bunch of us, and we went up. And he's like, because they, he wasn't even doing anything. Because Ian would tell you. Ian would be like, well, I was mouthing off, and I got to it. He's like, no, this, these guys were kind of looking for it, and they, and they jumped me. So we, we went up. How'd they jump him? He was there, was a well, it was like a it? Halloween party, and he and he sits, and I think that he was he, that these guys were being jerks to these girls that Ian knew, and he's like, "Come on, fella, cut the, cut that eyes, like have a good time." Hey there, like, Jack Skellington. He would call people fella, which is amazing, but like <laughs> and like and then the, the guys jumped him, yeah. like threw him into like the jukebox, and like we're kind of roughing him up. So he came back. Jeez. He came back, and he's like, "You know, we we gotta we gotta take care of this." And I was like, "All right," and so we and there were a lot of them. There were a lot of them, so we we went and we we walked up, and I, and Ian's like, "That's the guy over there," and the guy was huge, six three, six four, oh. like a su- he was in a Superman shirt, yeah. and I and I walk up and I look at him, I go, "You fucked up," <laughs> and, and he's like, "He's like what?" He's like, "Who are you?" And I'm like, "I'm just saying you fucked up," and he's he's like, and I'm just standing out there, and he's like walking after me, and I'm like, and he's like, "Are you sure you want to do this, man?" I go, "All my buddies," I'm like, "You fucked up," and he's like, "I don't know why you keep saying what." Next thing you know, Ian comes running from the side, yeah. and then the guy squares off with him. Ian throws a f- like a thunderous right hand. again. Ian's five eleven, gets six four, knocks the guy out cold. Uh-huh. Then all of his friends start coming in, and it was just it was there were fists flying, things coming. And it, it was I threw a nice one, and Adam and I said that's probably the last fight we're ever going to get into. Yeah. And I was like, I was and like, that's was. I was like going out. It was, that was it. I, it was it was one of these things. It was just you know you stick up for your buddies, and you go, you know what? I'm I'm a, I'm too old at this point to be. It was I mean again, this is I was in my. Early twenties, yeah, but uh, that was it. Do you ever what? have to uh. throw anybody out? Because I, I had to throw people out of the comedy store, but mm. and they and so they wanted to fight, but yeah. you can't fight. Like you can't fight if you are an employee, you can't fight on the premises, no. or else you're going to lose your job. So what would usually end up happening is that I would be like the the front man. And and I'd be the one like physically escorting them to the door, right? And then Jason Lucas or somebody would come from the side, and they'd be the one that like gets on top of them because you can like take them to the ground, you can bring them to the ground, but you yeah. can't throw a punch. No, no, no. So. Did you remember? I don't know if you were there. You might have been because I feel like I was hanging out with you at the time. But I still want to find out what happened to this poor guy because there was some fight that was going on right as you pull into the comedy store. So for those of you just to kind of paint the picture, it's on Sunset Boulevard, the busiest kind of street in. Yeah. Los Angeles, and then as you pull in, there's like this little driveway to get into the comedy store driveway, and right next door is the hotel, right? There was a scrap that these guys were getting into, and they were fighting, and, and one dude hit another guy, and the guy tripped, and he smashed his face on the on the concrete, like he went, like, I mean. On the store or on the ramp? On the floor of the, of the on, uh, like right, right, going into the driveway. Okay. But yeah. this dude, he got hit by another guy, stumbled, and then hit his face so hard, he got up for a second, but I was like, there's no way you're going to recover from that. Like it, it, it was like wow. Was, I, I thought you were standing next to me. You might not I remember have, that. It was brutal. I remember. What happened? I don't know. I don't know what happened to the guy. I always wanted to know. I always, I just kind of crossed my finger that the guy was okay. But I mean, like you take a hit like that, and it's like concussion stuff. 
Um, and speaking of lunacy and, and, and dopey <laughs> fighting, we're going to get into that Logan Paul boxing debacle that happened over the weekend. Um, oh, boy. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that. It's going to go in a little later. We've we'll got a lot. We'll fight story. Did you ever get into fights? I feel oh, like yeah. you definitely got oh, into yeah. fights. Yeah. Uh, tons as a kid. Did you get yourself into fights because you got a big mouth? No, never. No? Never. no? You're defending yourself? Yeah. Getting picked well, on and stuff? I got picked on for sure, but then also I, I ran with a crowd of assholes. Oh, uh, right. <laughs> so, you like, to, so you had to yeah. defend yourself. Yeah. yeah, and I guess I was one of those assholes, but like not the lead asshole. Right. Um, you just get thrown into stuff because your friends are jabbering. Right. Yeah, right. yeah. And and like you just can't be that kid who doesn't fight. I don't care if that's did not a good Did you pull the hair or people. did you throw punches? Punches. You do punches. Yeah. See, that's, that's that's tricky. Punches. I mean, and I'm so small. Yeah. Like I'm a really small but quick, kid. quick, I see. Yeah. I bet you're quick. I I have no stam stamina. Stamina? Yeah. Stamina? Yeah, it yeah, means you get tired. I forget. <laughs> the, the M comes first, yeah. Right. Yeah. She I, gave up pronouncing like, the word, so. <laughs> right, right. I, like, I have no stamina. Stamina. Yeah. Right. Just, just just lost it. You just lost it saying the, the word, yeah. Sometimes the ones that <laughs> whatever, right. just like a bitch. <laughs> Roxy's going to start punching one of us, right? right I know. <laughs> no, I haven't gotten in a fight since I was like 22. Yeah. Uh, but I was pretty good. Like, everybody liked to have me on their team, because yeah. I was pretty good, and I, I had nothing to lose well, it's at funny. the time. And we all have the same story. So, like, what, you get to a certain age... You're it's exhausting, it's and, exhausting, and it gets and it, it pays toll down the line because when you're 22, it's like oh, okay, I wake up in the next morning like like Brett, you're like oh, you know, my head hurts a little bit. That t- Brett got tired just looking at people dancing at Vegas. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, <laughs> and how about the fact that like I'm, I'm planning on my face making me money one day, right. and I'm getting in fucking fights, fights and yeah. I was you, like, this is what am I gonna do? You can't just scrap. be that girl and who has scars. You can have about? all the excuses you want, like, oh, this guy came up to me, yeah. and, like, and like, there's nothing I could do. If, if you're getting in fights on any sort of regular basis, part of it is your, your fault. Hundred percent. One hundred percent. And that's all of us around the same age yes. looking in the mirror and being like, okay, there's other ways that I could have yeah. handled whatever yeah. scenario. Yeah, it's always either because of drink. Or because you're talking to a guy or a girl, or something yeah. stupid, right? Yeah, and, so and the, so stupid. so stupid. I and can't the other, think of a real reason. But the other problem now is that the good news of us being, as Beardo says, b- born in the 1950s. Thank you to the episode of the Wangers that I watched <laughs> last week. Um, but it, but if you but if you watch if you us were being old in the fact that. We didn't have to worry about social media and it going all over mm. the place. Like you, like there's t- there's yeah. things, there's things, there's fights that you could have gotten to that if someone got on tape, you get into a lot of trouble yeah. or, or someone's suing your ass, right? It, I'm telling you, man, you stay like there's people to get because of videos and stuff. You s- s- don't fight. It's dopey. It is dopey. Don't fight. And, uh, Unless and your friends are fighting, then you have to have their backs and then fight. I, no, I say don't fight. I just tell your <laughs> friends to get under, out of there. What under a stupid, 20, what a, what a horrible advice. If you're yeah. under 22 and your friends are in a fight and you don't fight, you're a little bitch. Like 100%. How, no, don't encourage people to fight. There's you, no, there's you, no, you can't be that person who's like, I'm sorry, I'm not going to fight. You, I True. disagree <laughs> with you. I think turn away. Well, there's some people that don't have it in them to fight. Well, then those it, people should not be in a party. Scraps. They shouldn't be out. They shouldn't be drinking. If you're turning in the Josh McCuga here, and we're having we're, we're, it's how people I really, who don't fight are garbage people. <laughs> well, then don't hang out with a group of people who fight. Then, well, like yeah, if you're no, that so, person who hangs out with assholes, and you can't just be like, actually, I'm gonna sit this one out. Yes, yes. you can. You absolutely. Then you can. should hang out with those people. Well, n- no, because then you're not a real friend. That's no, that is, is true. I don't agree with that logic at all. After, I think, before 22. What's that? Before 22? After 22, you then can that's make up their, your own Then it's mind. their fault. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if I agree with that's that logic, but I'm going to stick with That sounds fair. That sounds fair to me, yeah. yeah. Sounds like good advice. I'm not, like not going to call advice. anybody a little bitch right. for not fighting like you're smart, um, but... Uh, 22, well, if, if it's forgivable. Yes. Once you get into your mid, late 20s. Mm-hmm. You, you have a you, life to lose. You don't want to lose your life I was at this close to knocking somebody out two weeks ago because oh? I, I was so really? pissed off Tell me the story. It. Yeah. I was at uh, I was at Dog House and uh, Adam yeah. Gertler's place, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. and um, and I, he wasn't there. And uh, he would have been good in a fight. Oh, I, but, I, I yeah. feel Adam Gertler would rip someone's just, nose off. He would acting, be wild. This guy was just acting like a, like a jerk off to everybody. Like what? What was he doing? It's just like, he was just being loud and Bitching about the food? sober in the daytime at a... A sausage place? Yeah, no, he seemed like he had been like like at like some you know fucking pool party like at uh, standard oh, or something was he all day. Or something? Yeah. He, he wasn't like like stumbling around. But it was just somebody who you could, t- you could tell really, he had a couple more. Really than he needed should've. to be taught a lesson, right, right? right? And so, and I'm ordering. He's just being loud, and uh, and I and What's I gave my, my credit card didn't work the first time because they they didn't run it right, so they okay. had to rerun it. And and then this guy's like, "What the fuck's wrong with this guy's credit card?" He was oh, laughing, no. trying to make his friends laugh. Uh-oh. So I turned around. This guy? 
I don't know, probably probably around my age. Okay. Like, maybe oh, like really? mid thirties, right, something like that. And yeah. um but but he's just a douche. And yeah, you yeah, can just yeah. tell just born and bred douche. And even his friends are like trying douche. to back him off. So I oh, turn back around. Him off. Yeah. Okay. I, I turn around and he's a little taller than me. And I did so I've never done this before and I'm happy I got a chance to do this. Is when when McCook and I did our CIA training, yeah. they taught us that if you're ever in a bar fight, this is a good lesson for all you kids out there. If you're in a bar fight and you're squaring off with somebody, if you're under twenty two, um <laughs> and you and somebody's looking you in the eye, yeah. Then, then okay. Then it's time to let's throw hands and let's let, let, let's do this. Yeah. But if so, if you get in a bar fight or somebody starts talking shit to you at a bar and they look at your throat, then back away because that person knows how to kill you. Yeah. Because they because if you get somebody the inner vascular jugular whatever region, they know that that's where you're actually supposed to go. Right. And so I turn around to this dude and I never look at his eyes once. I look right at his throat and I look at it and I don't know if it's because his friend saw me right. look at it. Or it's because I had a sleeveless shirt, or it's because his friends were just like this guy's being a being a douche. Yeah. They 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 started pulling it guy? back. Give me Nothing. that throat, boy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what I should have said. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that's I turned good. around and I had a smile on my face. Yeah, and I was do I had watched Roadhouse that day. Yeah, and I'm just thinking Dalton, be nice, and I'm like right at his throat like this, and I'm like, and and uh, he just starts. You're backing off. Backing off. Right, good yeah. for you. See, I would, I would apologize. You're looking now, wait kind of a minute. buff these days. Now, wait though. a minute. Who's That's my point is I wish you're, – you're a famous internet celebrity at this point, right? Why didn't any – D-list minor celebrity. D-list. Okay, Regional. fine. I'll, I'll give you that. Why didn't anybody tape that? I would have been great if somebody would have taped that. At least thinking you're oh, Topher it, Grace it, or something. Don't, you know, <laughs> that would have – Topher Grace is about to rip somebody's throat <laughs> out. Grace what are they going to tape, though? His, his eye contact? What? There's, no. What was, there was nothing to tape. Yeah, but still, something was about – shit was about to go down. You would have to do a couple takes to catch that whole – Throat stare. I still think about it. Like, Different angles. Yeah, you wish, yeah. we'll take that one more time. I'm gonna part, of me, part of me wanted to. Yeah, I know, but it's you good know? that you didn't. Smart. Yeah. All right. Now I'm uh, thinking about it again. I did want to. <laughs> I, I did want to move on to a couple things here too because we need to get to some news. And we're gonna have uh, Dennis is gonna come in and talk about. Last week we had the the thing with crazy, crazy, which rich, crazy rich Asians, crazy witch Asians. But there was something Halloween I want to address. Before we move on to the news, because we're going to talk about news first, then we'll talk about box office, then we'll talk about um, Crazy Rich Asians. So on Wednesday, no, Tuesday, on Tuesday, there was uh, at the, Brett, you went out and you did your uh, your show. Mm -hmm. you, you, you're, you were interviewing people out at the- Wait, his show? Oh, I have my show. own show now. He has his own show. <laughs> he does clips. He does clips. That's, and he's awesome. That's why I'm so much closer to the yeah. tape. But I'm really was, happy for you. It was good. But he was talking to, he was talking to some people asking, we're going to do, do the segment where he is asking people what movie they it's saw. Brett right? on the street. Yeah. More or less. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So- at the we can do something more clever than that. I've been thinking well, about we it. We can think about the name, whatever yeah. it is. But we the, took a local <laughs> yokel from Nebraska yeah. and put him in the big city. What's gonna happen? Pretty much. But we're gonna do. We're gonna. I'm gonna start flapping down. I'm gonna start slapping down like five, ten bucks on on each on each person. Put some money on it. But anyway, at the end of it, I asked. I asked Brett. I said, Brett, go up and talk to uh, talk to the the worker. I said, go talk to the worker and see at the movie at theater? the movie theater. And I said, go playing see. with fire. Well, I just wanted to ask him wh what movies they were going to see and stuff too, right? So cops are had, had kind of ch chimed in, and he said, uh, and he goes, no, don't do that, and that made me mad because I said, don't, I said, don't, don't do that to the bit. I I, I caught wind of. This. I just said, don't do it to the bit because it wasn't it wasn't the fact that they were telling me he told me not to. Um, talk to the actual employee because I understood it because Cody told me afterwards he's like they can get in trouble you know they can't talk to the press and all that it's like alright well we can talk about that afterwards and there's, that was this initial thing but Copster is very similar to me is where Copster likes to likes to scrap he's sometimes probably been in some food. fights yeah but he also likes to like so he was uh, he then started to goad me a little bit and then he starts saying, "Hey, Brett, tell him to smell your fingers. Smell your fingers. Do this, do that." And I was like, "All right, now, now, now you're pushing your buttons. Now you're pushing your buttons." And I said, "Get in here." And we we talked about. It. He said he wasn't going to chime in. Then he slammed the door on the way out. But he and I talked. We oh, had a good oh, talk. Did you? you were sitting in the room with us, so you know that. Um, but but I also wanted to give I'm a great relationship. But I want to yeah. give. When is this? When did you guys talk? We talked on uh, Friday or Friday. It was, it, Thursday. Was, uh, it was Thursday. It was Thursday. It was Thursday. Did you call him into your office? Were you like cops are? No, 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 no. Actually, Mark, Mark came in because I was. You know, we were both. We were both <laughs> trying to like. We we're, were feeling each other out and letting us like. Both. He he did the. And I'm gonna let cops are talk to. Him. I don't want to just talk. Um, He's got a mic. Do you want him to come in? Yeah, or? No, no, no. So we'll have him. We'll have yeah. him. We'll, 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 no, it's too crowded in here. Who's that? Is that put, cops are's agent? Yes, yeah, his agent. You can put the <laughs> wanger Thanks, cam on him and let him talk in a second. But I want to. But we were kind of feeling each other out. Oh. Left each other alone. 
And then uh, and then Mark said, "Hey, listen, let's uh, let's let's hash this thing out." And we did because Copster and I've been working together for for like five years now. And but Copster, so tell me a little bit about the scenario here. What happened on uh, on uh, on Tuesday? Well, I can tell you, it wasn't a bit. <laughs> it really wasn't. Um, look, you know, we said some things, and, you know, uh, we have a history of sometimes going back and forth, and sometimes it's playful. And then I thought I saw an opportunity to, you know, okay, this will be fun. This will be the nice little banter. And then it, it just kind of it started going downhill a little bit. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you know me. Uh, you know how I get sometimes. And I don't like being like that sometimes. Yeah. Actually, a lot of the times I don't like being that. But, uh, you know, shit got cray, as the kids would say. <laughs> right. Oh, that rhymed. And, uh, you know, we talked it out. It was really great. Uh, it was really great. I think it was something that we really needed to do. Um, it wasn't just that situation. It was other stuff just kind of building up. And you know what? Um, I'm not a fighter, surprisingly. I, I really am not. I got in one fight in my life. I didn't like it. And, uh, yeah. Didn't take. We, uh, we, uh, we talked it out. It was really great. And now we're best friends. But yeah. I can tell you, I, I was staring at his throat the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. The best part yeah. about it was being on my end. You probably didn't know what the fuck like, was going on. it was like, go talk to the employee. Yeah. And then it was this. Guys? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm Look sorry, at, sir. Well, because you could hear it. If you go back and you watch it, I go, get out of there. Get out of there. And Brett goes, me? <laughs> <laughs> Should I... Are they coming? Are the cops yeah. coming? He, didn't, he was so he, confused. And, yeah. Yeah. I want to feel like I'm in the room, though. What did you guys say? Like, what did you say to oh, him? I don't. On tu- oh, you mean the, No, on not Friday? on Tuesday. I'm Friday. Oh, it was a long conversation. Yeah. I mean, Thursday. It was a long conversation. We just we we just hashed it out. There was a lot of things. Like Again, he understood. He said, look, I, I know I shouldn't have inter- interrupted the bit. And I also told him, yeah, I get it, that you were trying to protect the worker in general. And we just... We hashed it out. It was the thing. That's that's what you do when you're, you know, when you respect somebody, and when mm-hmm. because the thing is, that we we also said if we didn't respect one another, he could have walked out the fucking door, didn't come back, and then I could have said, great, let's have Brett produce the show, and then the whole thing would go to flames. Oh boy, yeah. real question, uh, Cobster, mm-hmm. is Christian on or off your shit list currently? Oh yeah, well uh, the shit list is done. Yeah, there's, no, gonna, there's can, no more. Shit that was list. part of the thing. We we agreed yeah. we agreed to get rid the shit list is because no, he also made it he also made it clear, and he had posted this on Facebook, and I respect him the fact that he. He's, he's he's trying to get away from that stuff. He's trying to get away from the fact he's because even after our talk, he's been. I mean, he's always been a tremendous worker, but he's he's working on it. And I don't. You don't want to. If, if trying someone, to get away from what stuff? It, it, being angry, you know, and be, angry. Uh, uh, yeah. And the thing is, too, he's trying. He's working on it, and he knows. And and by doing that, because I asked him on Monday, I said, "You sure you want to do the shit listing?" And he did it for the bit. He said, "Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it." And and yeah. and, and then he's it's gone. We're yeah, that doing, that was my fault because I I didn't want to let anybody down, and it was a bunch of stuff, but. Oh, I uh, the shit list. Oh, I know. Maybe if, if we, well, if you we, can do a shit list. Okay, I'll yeah, do you can do shit list. You can do a if, shit list. If we do bring it back, I don't want it to be about specific people. Maybe yeah. it's some kind of event, or if Logan Paul's being a douchebag like right, he always right, right. is. So you know, yeah, we'll fi- we'll figure it out. But anyway, cops are good. Good that we hash it out too. And now we got to figure out what to do with Beardo. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, but Beardo, let me, Beardo, I do have a question for you though. This is very oh, important. Do you know what what Roca? Do you know what he's? Uh, do you know what he's working on right now by any chance? He is still working on his spoonsmanship. Okay, great, thank you. Um, all right, so uh, <laughs> let's uh, <laughs> let's move on to the news. Uh, oh, there's, a, there's, uh, there's a lot of news happening. It's in, a in, good drop. Yeah, it's great. Oh, oh Beardo's the best at the drops too. That is so good. All right, I'm Riley, sorry, some movie news that. that happened in the world. What you said it was a big big weekend. It, it was a big What'd weekend. We're gonna have to let's talk box office first. Okay. and bring Dennis in because he's. Well, uh, well no, if we do that, we, we got to do then the we're gonna first. lose him completely because he's got it. Here he is. All right. He's uh, going on Collider Sports. <laughs> so we need to uh, talk about how Crazy Rich Asians just killed at the box office. It game. did. Okay. All right. Well, let's. All right, Brett, we'll see you in a couple of months. Oh, yeah. All right. Go to Vegas. <laughs> all right. So Dennis is coming in. We're going to talk. Because Den- Dennis tweeted. So a little backstory here. We were. Because um, people don't realize about Dennis. Dennis has a very sneaky sense of humor. Yeah. And he does. Because Dennis can drop some. Drop some. Some light. Because when you see Dennis, he, a lot of times can come off very serious. Yeah. But. When you Dennis, you'll be sitting at lunch with Dennis, and he'll drop a. Dennis has put me in hysterics. A bunch. Funny of guy appreciates a good joke and deliver one. And he did that on social media. But sometimes people don't yeah. realize on social media they take it serious, and that's why he he wrote like uh, he's like, look, this is the perfect panel to be talking about crazy crazy rich Asians. Bunch and of white people talking white about people. crazy rich. And I said, yeah. you, and I wrote, and I wrote him back in the same tone. I said, you were literally three doors down. <laughs> Walk in, and he did, and he's here right now. Um, so w- tell me first of all, Riley. Tell me about the uh, the box office for, before we get Dennis's take on it. What's um, w- 
what happened? What what was the what were the numbers? Uh, it was twenty five million. Is that what it did for second weekend? Wow. So and it took the number one spot for the second. That's weekend. That's a one million dollar drop from its first. Yeah, weekend. that's it, incredible. It's, wow. it's, it got incredible, incredible uh, legs. What was number and two? Word of mouth. The Meg again. At, okay. at, uh It's a thirteen million. Well, so have, well, the Meg, more here's happy the big, time murders. Here's the big news with the Meg. Yeah. It has already made more than Solo a Star Wars story. Right. Well, what did Happy Time do? Happy Time, uh, number three at ten million. Mm. That's it was not awesome. good. It was awesome, and you all are stupid. I, who are you talking to? I like <laughs> the, the pe- movie. The people out yeah, there. Yeah, that one. Uh, the people. Uh, bunch of I've garbage bunch people. Of mixed, yeah. Garbage mixed people. Things. Let me talk to Dennis here, though. Dennis, so um, this movie, obviously, this is, this is a pretty. Uh, this movie, obviously, is very important. Yes. Um, but also because it's making so much money. Like, why do you? What's your take on why it's doing as well as it's doing? Well, well let me let me set up. Like why I didn't come in on the first Monday. Sure. So this is a movie, obviously, is a big deal to Asian Americans uh, across the country because it's the first uh, all um, all Asian American cast in like 25 years, a studio produced one. There's, there's been indie stuff that's been picked up and whatnot. Um, Since the Joy Luck Club. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah 25 years. That's a that's a long time. That's a long time. That's a long time. Yeah. So there, there was a lot kind of. Uh, maybe fairly or unfairly resting on this movie. I've been paying attention to it since they they announced it. John M. Chu is directing it. I started hearing some good buzz about it a few months ago, and then it opened two weeks ago. So before that, I was starting to get excited for the film, uh, you know. And then you know, a lot of people were talking about it and Variety and Hollywood Reporter. And I took uh, my girlfriend and my sister to go see it uh, opening weekend on Friday. And then did you uh, like it? Yeah, yeah, it was good. It's look, it's not my type of movie in terms of like rom coms just aren't my genre, right? It's right. not a cinematic masterpiece, but for what it is, it's done very, very it's well. It's like my uh, uh, big fat Greek wedding. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I think people, a lot of people, are comparing to that. Uh, also, that weekend, uh, a movie called uh, "To All the Boys I Loved Before," mm-hmm. the Netflix film, the Netflix film mm-hmm. uh, starring uh, Lana Condor. I think that's her name. Okay, I think I think she's like half Asian, half white. That movie came out on Netflix. You know, uh, searching I saw on Monday. Uh, actually, accidentally, <laughs> I accidentally went to the premiere. I told Frosty, I said, "Hey, you know any screenings?" <laughs> He's like, yeah, "Yeah, yeah," and I was like, "Yeah, me and my girlfriend want to go." You thought it was the screening and it was a premiere. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah, happened to me. So, so I was dressed, I saw, like, so I was dressed yeah, like, like this. That. I saw Ryan Coogler walking into that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I so, saw Pirates of the Caribbean five like that when I showed up in like gym shorts, oh, and yeah. it was the premiere, and I'm like, oh shit! Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Uh, it happened. Okay, so so this movie, like uh, at least uh, amongst the Asian American community, it's like very very big. People are talking about it because it can lead to a lot more things. I'm not, I know some people are gonna over exaggerate or think I'm over exaggerating, but the success of this film will probably do more for opening. My career opportunities, because people don't know, I, I want to direct and write. Yeah, will open more doors than things that I I find more creatively influential, like people like Scorsese and Spielberg and Kubrick and Aronofsky and Nolan. Like all those people creatively influenced me a lot. But this movie, this you know this rom com that may not look like anything to anyone, is going to affect my career m- drastically more because yeah. I'll be able to. Do- so anyway, so kind of like I'm feeling like this kind of like this movement going on and this uh, uh, just feeling the moment, right? And then I walk in here uh, on f- Monday and after our pre-production meeting we have at nine, yeah. I came into this pre-production. I, I know, I understand. I love this show. I think it's great. And you guys were doing it. And I walk in there and I, I see you guys meeting, starting the meeting and go in there. Kind of want to listen to what you guys are going to have to say and bring it, bring it up Crazy Rich Asians because like, for me, it was like this whole big, and this is kind of the perspective of, I think, myself and maybe Asian Americans in general. I come in there thinking like, oh, shit, this thing is huge. It's going to be a big deal. It's a game changer. And during the pre-production meeting, you ask Riley, you're like, hey, so what we got for movie news? Uh, and then Riley goes, ah, we don't have shit. <laughs> and then you go, yeah, yeah. And you're like, ah, yeah, there ain't, ain't, ain't nothing. So I'm like. I'm that Homer Simpson meme. I'm walking back into the bush. <laughs> right. Yes, it's right. fair. It's fair. Yeah. yeah. To, to yeah. me, it was like... It's super important for you. Yeah. It's like one of the most important things, like you said, it could change your career and, and a lot of other careers. Yeah, yeah. So to me, it right. was like, we just won the Super Bowl, <laughs> right. but you guys didn't know what football was. Right. You know? Yeah. So right. so that's why I didn't like hop in there, and then I wrote that tweet. I wasn't angry or anything right. at that. 
like it was that. more like, hey, open your eyes, fuck face. Yeah, yeah, yeah I get you know, it. It's I get more it. lack of we, awareness. We no, did that's lead fair. with it that's on fair. movie talk. So yeah. we yeah. That, that was the headline on movie talk. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, listen, that's totally fair for it opening up. And like I said, the door is especially for yeah. you, the door is always yeah. open. You should come in and kick the door and say, Hey, hey idiots. Uh, yeah. this is a this is a big story. Well, after here. I saw Ra- Ryan Satin just pop in here and you know <laughs> right, right, argue right. with Makuga. You were nervous about being called a garbage person. Yeah, I got it. Dennis also like works really hard and he's got a lot of stuff to do here. So it is right. easier to just send a tweet in a just so joking true. manner than it is to actually. I come get down nervous and have a about that though, though too. His 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 tweet was was harmless, and it ultimately led to us talking right now. But I get nervous when people in the office are tweeting at other people in the office. Ryan Satin did it last week, um, you know, with Makuga, which was funny at first. You know, he said the whole thing with the I never followed somebody so fast and unfollowed someone like Makuga. Oh, is that still uh, going on? No, is no, that no, a no, full no. Thing? It's, no, it's squashed. They they squashed it on Tuesday, but like, and then but the same day on Monday there was more he went after kind of you know Makuga and Copster and the whole thing and, and we and he and I talked and we said just we that's what this show is for this show is for like if you if, like if you ever if there's something that either we said or someone else said it's like let's hash it out on the show yeah like, let's talk about it on the show I don't want to do Twitter because Twitter is the same thing like bad texting like how many fights have you gotten in texting because it just translates the wrong way as opposed to looking right in your face Dennis everything Dennis said right now completely agree it's one of these monumental things that happened to for his culture for culture in general and opportunities that will be made and we didn't it wasn't that we were just like eh, let's not talk about that it was we didn't think about the, the, how big of an impact it is and we should have but and, like, uh, I'd like to talk about it the same way that we did yeah fun footnote too is that that movie already has been greenlit for sequel? the sequel because there's two other books in the uh, in the series okay. by Kevin Kwan, and um, I think they're gonna. I think it's gonna be a fast track because they're, they're they're just trying to lock down John M. Chu. They want him to come back. Most of the uh, production staff is gonna come back and yeah. do it, and a lot of the cast is also gonna return. And if you want, uh, I can. Uh, we can have um, my buddy, uh, comedian Jimmy O. Yang. He's in a lot of stuff, yeah, know? and he makes an appearance in that he's really funny. And I actually got. We did a show at the Improv together. He brought me on stage. And we hadn't seen each other in a long time, but we were, were buddies and we started out together. And seeing him on stage, because he like went up and he's like, I have the number, I'm in the number one movie in America right now. And it's all, it, it's a, it, it's an Asian cast. And yeah. like, and the crowd went crazy for him. It was really, well, really cool to it's see. It's really, it's catching fire. And I'll tell you why, because I was even, even not necessarily for the, the, the movies themselves, but the books, right? I was at Barnes and Noble. My daughter, by the way, so proud of this kid. She's she's gonna be seven years old, right? You know the kind of firecracker she is. Yes, she is. She a lot of energy. My my mother gave her a Barnes and Noble um, gift card. Gift card, right? So she goes and she gets four books. She read all four of the books on Sunday. Damn, I haven't seen her. She just read all four of them. Wow. And like legit, I was like, all right, are you just like flipping the pages? Are you really? And I was <laughs> quizzing her on it. She knew it all. She was sitting there just like reading it. But anyway, the reason when we were there, um, I heard this. Asian woman and her daughter came in and they were asking about the books and wanted to get caught up on it. I was like, it's really kind of, it's catching fire and get more people are, are, are aware, aware of it, want to talk about it. So, yeah, it is really important. Yeah, and it's it also, up. you know, I talked about what it does for me, but it actually does things more for the younger generation. 100%. Because, like, for me, when I grew up, like, there was very few Asian people on television or in movies. And so, you know, from a... I have a kind of a typical kind of uh, Asian parents that they're, they're thinking about you know me becoming a doctor, yeah, a where, lawyer. Where were they? Were they born here? They, they were born in Taiwan. They were born in Taiwan. Yes. Okay, when did they come over? Uh, when they were like late twenties, early thirties. Okay. And then I was born in New York, and then I, uh, uh, we moved out to Bay Area. I don't remember New York. You were born in New York. Yeah, I was born in New York. Holy shit! Yeah, I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah. So, I got you guys get, closer together. Oh, I, every to get, I gotta get you on a one on one. You don't remember where you were born in New York? And then New York City. And you were in Manhattan. Look yeah, at you. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Wait, no, that... he remembers where he was. I he doesn't know that. remember being yeah. born. Oh, yeah. when but you... he remembers. Well, my wife was my wife, wife was born in this. <laughs> wow, look at this hospital. I, Are you my mom? <laughs> right. I have an honest question for you. So what what's better? Because I, I truly don't know. Is it better if in the pre production meeting we all sit there and we say, you know what, we should definitely talk about what a huge impact this has had on um, the Asian American people and so- just society in general. And then we come in here as a bunch of white people and are like, this is amazing. Or is it better for us not to talk about it? What What is the better move? No, I, I think the better move thing. is you yeah. talk about it and then you bring someone in that could you know, has a different perspective on right. it. So the best move is to be like, Dennis, please come join the show today because we don't. Well, for this segment. Yeah, right, so right. For, for me, my, that makes sense. my that thing sense. for that is because I, have, I, got, I got two, I'm not a pushback, but I have, a, I have two things for that. I actually really 
respond to your point of where you said when when we asked what's going on in the news and yeah. we're like, yeah, you know, nothing yeah. really. That that's that's where that should have changed. I'm going to disagree with the fact that if something is brought up organically to where if, if we start talking about oh, like, yeah, yeah. hey, look, oh wait, we don't have an Asian person no, here. No, Let's no, bring that. You know, no. then then it gets weird. You know, as opposed to but but I think your initial point of saying. This is a huge story, and for the impact, and I'm glad you brought it up. See, but. I didn't know we were talking about the like movie news on the show because, like, when we were in the meeting, I was just looking at Cobster because Cobster gave a great pregame, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. you know, speech, and uh, and I didn't really realize that we were talking about movie news in a way that's like, oh, we're actually going to have a segment based on movie news because yeah. if I was because like again, just because I do movie talk every yeah. day, if I had my wits about me, and I was like, oh, we're talking about that. We should probably True. probably have that. And I think that one of the reasons yeah. why the Collider Live is different from Movie Talk is when, when you guys re I mean you really break it down. If you don't if you guys don't know, Mark obviously hosts every day Monday oh, well Monday oh, through you, you guys don't need Monday that. through Thursday at four PM <laughs> PST you. and they break down everything happening in movie news. This is more like a casual conversation yeah. about news. It's not as much of a breakdown. Which so is you, why I thought this would this conversation would fits fit. better. It does. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It, it, it absolutely does. I think I Riley's a bad Just, person. Yeah, is, yeah. is what I want is is the goal I want everybody to take away from this. Right. I just think sometimes because I did think about it and I just feel like sometimes I don't feel like it's appropriate for me to speak on behalf of anybody or on a subject matter and I guess it's better to still talk about something yeah. because I know when I listen to a podcast with a bunch of dudes and they're talking about like female issues I'm like fuck off yeah. like what but what, think, what are you guys talking about it, the angle they yeah think. it's the angle yeah because, totally. isn't, because isn't that dangerous sometimes though, definitely too? definitely I, I, I think that we run into a place sometimes in society also because it's like if there's a bunch of let's say white guys or straight white guys or like and and one white girl and it's like well you're not allowed to talk about that i don't think that's fair I do think that you make a very valid point that if you have someone that is so passionate about it in your office, yeah. that person should be on the table talking about it because of what it meant to you. Because we lost that in the impact because it didn't obviously didn't have the impact yeah. on us the way it does to you and to Wendy. Yeah. Like that, like that's where I think eyes need to be opened a little bit more. But I think sometimes we run into a dangerous spot in social media. I think sometimes we da a dangerous spot in comments and things. I think that everybody. I think that there's segregation is a, in a whole. You have to be like as far as when you look at a group of people that obviously there's so much passion going into this project that I can tell you for first of all like Emma Fife, white straight girl, is static about the the Asian community in general. She loves anime. She I mean you, you when you see she was she dressed she dressed up I think. I don't know where she went recently. It was like an anime convention, right? Yeah. And she, I feel like I feel like Emma Five is supposed to be Japanese. I really mm -hmm. do because like she is she, the culture to her. She loves it. And I don't think it's fair for someone to say, "Well, she can't really talk about that stuff because she's a white straight woman." No, so I think no, it's no, dangerous it's, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely is because people want to claim like, "Oh, only this person can talk about certain things or whatnot." But yeah. I think it's just all about the perspective. Totally. What, what angle you're you're coming at it. Yeah. But you should also seek those kind of people out to talk about it. Absolutely. If you have, if you have the wherewithal, if you have the ability yes. to, it makes the conversation better, not just with those topics, but with any conversations. What I found the last, you know, five or six years doing shows like this all the time is that more diversity actually just makes a better conversation. Oh, I couldn't disagree. I mean, so. I'm sorry, I couldn't agree with you more. <laughs> yeah, you know, I couldn't disagree with you more. No, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah, I think, it's yes, totally true. yes, absolutely. And I think that you and I think Danny Fernandez, I think there are people mm -hmm. that have done stuff for this channel and for Schmoes in general that has said like, hey, let's open the conversation more. Let's introduce you to more people that can help. I think that that's crucial. I think that is how you evolve. I think that that's how you, but I'm just saying that sometimes if you're in the middle of a conversation, it's okay for people all over the place to be able to talk about it. You're right. If there are people inside of the office that we're talking about, like, again, there's there's certain movies that if you, if, like Dorian's going to be able to talk on better than like I'm going to be able to talk on, right? But maybe Dorian's not here. And I'm not going to just say, hey, we can't talk about this because we don't have a black person in the office. Like that, To me, that's dangerous. You know, it's, it's, like, it's, it's better to me to say like, hey, who can talk about this? Who's passionate about this? And let's have a conversation about it. I think everyone should be able to talk about all issues. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we had fun doing uh, doing our Black Klansman review when it was it was me and Dorian. Yeah. He's, he's 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 really good talking about movies in general. And uh, and on Schmoes because you were out that week, it's like I I think this would be a good conversation. It ended up 100%. being a really good. That's my point. My yeah. point is he was here. It's perfect, and that he's got he and probably and he had a really good take on it. Yeah, you know. Same thing, like if I'm around or if, if I was going to do that and Jay Washington was here, right? Like Jay, I love hearing Jay's opinions on stuff. I love Jay's passion on stuff. Like I want to hear what how Jay's feeling about it. But sometimes Jay's not here. 
Sometimes, you know, Marquis is not here. Sometimes these people are not here. And so I still want to be able to talk about these things. So that that's sure. my that's my point. But yeah. Dennis, but to Dennis's point, Dennis was here. <laughs> Dennis yeah. was here, and I'm glad you're here now talking about this stuff too. Like, do you want to see a sequel or do you want to see other opportunities? I happen? do want to see a sequel, but I I know people want to fast track it because it was so successful. Right. I just one, I think John M. Chu is working on that movie Into the Heights, which is the mm-hmm. Lynn Manuel Miranda uh movie. And then also the just play one. I, I, I just don't like fast track in movies just because like I'm sure a lot of time and, and effort and right. thought went into the first one. I just don't want a second one just be like, okay, that made money, so let's just, you know, get it done as it's fast as possible. It's very interesting right now because Into the Heights comes out in I believe or it's scheduled to come out in two thousand twenty. And so and so you look at this, you're like, well if we get this thing into high gear right now we get everything, and we get everybody locked in. We already have a novel that we can adapt. We right. can get this thing out. There's danger both ways. There's danger if you fast track a movie like that, and you say, okay, it, because you don't want it to look like a cash grab. There's also danger in waiting too long, like Dumb and Dumber Two, or the sequel to My Big Fat Greek Wedding. Like those are things where yeah. they, they they took so long to come together that you worry about recapturing the magic. So it's uh, it, it, it's a tough balance. But I think it was smart of them to announce that they're doing a sequel. Yes, because that gets even more one. people hyped to go see this one. Right. And Laura, as Laura S. pointed out in the chat, this is uh, Crazy Rich Asian will be the first Asian-American sequel in Hollywood history. Look at that. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah. it's a good thing, right? right? But I hope they do take their time on it. Right. Like you said, so well, I can ask, uh, Dennis, you were in here for this too. Hey, hey Beardo, what's, uh, what is John Cho working on right now? John He's M. still Beardo. working on his spoonsmanship. Perfect. Oh, there he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> That's a John Chu. John, John Cho, John, John, John Cho is, is in the, is in, is in uh, searching, which searching, is searching, right, 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 right. John Cho uh, is it good? I wanted to see it this weekend. It, it, it's it's, it's excellent. really good, right? It's excellent. Yeah, it's it was good. between that and Happy Time. Those were, uh, those are the two screenings that I took. So I took Happy Time. Those, I, probably those poor puppets. Me too, but it was so good. It, it, I love Happy the first, Time. The first half was really good, and then he stopped. The they, whole thing was amazing. It became a buddy cop movie. It stopped being funny. It was so funny the whole time. Uh, uh, <laughs> the whole way through. I, 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 I really enjoyed it. Me too. It, Everybody's there's a lot, there's garbage a lot people. Yeah, a lot of it is funny. But like, you know, so so Riley Riley just sent me a text here too. He said, this is amazing. Uh, and and no, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to change it. But Riley sent me a text and says, our fans are actually downvoting this video because Logan Paul is what, in the thumbnail? Yeah. So stupid. Yeah. It's like we're going to talk about how this this guy was was in his boxing match. This was a huge boxing match, and they're like, "Wait, we put a Logan Paul on the thumbnail? Down vote! Yeah. What are you doing? It's yeah. like, I, it's like, do you want to change the thumbnail? No. Who do we going to talk? Who do you box? We're going to talk about it a little later. They had a, they had Somebody a bo- whose name I don't understand. There was a fucking it's boxing match this idiot had, right? And it's yeah. like, and it was this, and it's this big. Uh, he, you know, look, part of it. Yeah, he's got to go. All right, yeah, Dennis. Go. Dennis, Sorry. thank you for joining right. us. We're going to have you on again, though, too. Okay, cool. Because I want to learn what you were like in college. Uh, I drank a lot in did college. Did you crush tail? I feel like you uh, did. He drinks and knows things. Yeah, I drank a lot. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. All right, you next say you don't want to talk about it. All right, we'll talk about uh, it when you. We'll get oh, you on next. Yeah, I'll time. talk about it sometime. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, we got to go. Dennis escaping at exactly the right yeah. moment. Good. Um, all right, let's let's finish the news and then we'll yeah, talk about. I'm not. Yeah, the answer to the question: Do I want to change the thumbnail? No. It's so st- I no, mean, come stupid. I can't believe they were de- they were okay. downvoting this. Because he's All right, on to play the devil's thumbnail? advocate, so dumb. to play devil's advocate, dumb, do you dumb. really want to bite your nose to spite your face? What do you mean? Well, if if it's going to get us less, I don't care. I don't care. But why don't because, you care? Because in the thumbnail, we're creating work, and we want t- we want thumbs up. Our thumbnail says we're, because we're going to cover it for a little bit because I actually Logan Paul is boxing now. It's it says right. Logan Paul is boxing now. This was a big story over the weekend. This guy mm-hmm. set up. They set. They got almost a million plus people watching this match. Okay, I'm trying to get 400 people out to a theater in North Hollywood on September 8th. It is a it is a task. Okay, it is a task, and it is a huge story. It is a big story, and when you look at the stuff to do, they're trying to compete with like the UFC and other things. It is a huge story. So yes, this is not. I'm not going to do like uh, because I'm not going to say Iron Man to be in the next Avengers. I'm not going to do that shit. That's not what this show is. So if you don't understand it, that's the fucking show. The show is Hashtag about Logan Paul's every exploits. every Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, it's 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 Logan Paul talk. But every listen, the thing is, I've never even mentioned this person's 
name on a show before. Yeah. But the fact that he put the fact that he put a boxing match together, right? And he got millions of views on it. It is something to talk about. I don't think people are mad you're talking about it. I think they're upset about the thumbnail, right? Because that's the topic of the show. It's going to be in the next half an hour. So it's like people See, so like, they're either downvoting it because we haven't talked about it yet and they're Logan Paul fans or it's because they see Logan Paul's what face. What are the comments and they, of it? and they say that, "Oh, well, because you put Logan Paul in here, hmm. I don't I automatically hate Logan Paul, so I hate anything right. that Maybe Riley Logan can help Paul. us right. out. Well, yeah. a, lot, a lot of people just basically yelling at the void going, yeah. Logan Paul's an asshole. Logan. Right. And then people say, downvoting. The, why are people downvoting this video? Because, because, because of that. Logan Paul. Yeah. So, it's like, why right. are you doing that? Now right. they're arguing. You know, because of, of like, don't do that, guys. To, to echo your That's point. My point. The thing is, it's just it makes no sense. But look, here's the thing, though. I know there are a lot of very smart people who watch our show and everything too. There are a lot of, I don't want to say dumb people, but there's a lot garbage. of garbage. No, not garbage people either. Oh. I think there's a lot of ignorant people sometimes too. Mm. And I said this on Jedi Council. And I will say it again. I don't, I, for whatever reason, whether it's hateful comments. Or silliness, like trying to when people are trying to work hard and you're just downvoting to downvote. There's something else going on in these people's lives. There really is, but it's it's a dopey thing because I'm not going to change it because it's like, what should we do? Should we change the thumbnail? No, because that's what we're going to talk about. Because I am fascinated by this, the fact that so many people. I wouldn't spend a dollar. I wouldn't spend fifty cents to watch these two box, but million um, over a million people did, and it is a fascinating story. But as far as let's finish up with news, we'll go to yeah. break and we'll actually come back and talk about this. Okay. What do you got, Ryan? Uh, Big Bang Theory is going to end next season. Uh, this is this story too. Yeah, this crazy. is crazy. Uh, Talk about the, a million the, people watching a boxing match. Yeah. Well, listen, a lot do of you know this? Do you know this. this story? No idea. What listen to this. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> with respect to the the salaries, everybody was going to make near a million dollars per episode, mm -hmm. but Jim Parsons decided no, he's out. He wants to leave the show, which then left the the fan uh, the other people on the show going like. Oh, okay. No more show, so they're ending it next year. And it would have, and he walked away from fifty million dollars over, over fifty million dollars over two years, yeah. right? Yeah. Now, I talked to our friend Janina Gamakar, who was supposed to be on the show. She had a very good point. It's like kind of one of the reasons I really wanted her on this show today because she said, really, that's not much more than he was already making. I mean, you look at a million dollars an episode for what twenty some odd episodes. It rounds out to about fifty million, and I'm thinking. Put that you're still a young cat, man. Put that fifty million in the bank. Go make whatever the hell you want to make. It's only two more years. You're not seventy years old. You're like not even forty, I don't think, or maybe forty. But like, do it. Take the fifty mil if you can. If you can do it with with the show. If you can still do it. Maybe he's just not passionate about it at all. Maybe that's the case. But I don't know, man. If you can open fifty million, can do you a, a lot with production and other stuff. Now I'm not just talking about just be, like living lavishly. I'm talking about like. Spending it to open a production company, do some new things with it. That's fifty million dollars. It's it is a tough job. I'm not saying that, that you're not you're not rewarded beyond your wildest dreams for doing it. Yeah. But working on a sitcom is, I mean, it, it's sixteen to twenty hour days where you, you're there, you're, you're rehearsing constantly, it's your life. you're doing it's it. lines. That's your life. Yeah. And Jim Parsons is a guy who wants to break in and do other roles, do other things with his life. And the other thing is that, yeah, it looks bad on paper that you're walking away from $50 million or whatever you're doing, but you're going to make so much money off that show in syndication for eternity that making new episodes of Big Bang Theory may not even be at the most fruitful. Um, that You might make more just on the fact that this show is in constant syndication right. for the end of time. Right. So as long as like everybody has contracts with that in place, I mean, I... I do feel bad for all the people that are that are production Losing their jobs. Yeah. yeah, because but but again, it's like come on, man. The yeah. show's been on for it's what ten years. It was one of our first pilots we reviewed for yeah. Current TV it's, before we even started Schmoes. Yeah, I don't think that you can blame the guy for making his own choice based on no. his own life for whatever he wants to do. But at the same time, I have a very hard time picturing Jim Parsons' career after Big Bang. I don't know what he does or yeah. where he goes. I'm sure he'll figure something out. That's but my point. Take that 15, open your own production Right, company. because he's he is castable in some ways, but he's not the most castable person. Yeah. Well, uh, when little Sheldon gets too old, he can play adult Sheldon on that one. <laughs> Which one's that? Well, he, 
Oh, right. Yeah. Young, he young does child. Does show. Show. And Jim right. Parsons is showing up in the Ted Bundy biopic right. with yeah. uh, he'll, he'll, he'll work. He's I mean, work. he'll work. He's been yeah. around it's for. It's not that he won't work. Right. It's that this is the. I think this is as big as it gets for him. Yeah, but I mean, the thing is, too, what he's got inside of that, I mean, like Mark's talking about with syndication, he'll be, he he's really never has to work I'm for the rest of his life. I'm not talking monetarily. I'm talking about fan. I, I know. And I think, but maybe, but maybe he, that's not what he's in it for. You know, maybe he's not in it for fan. And maybe he's in it. Maybe he wants to start to be for like a series. Maybe he is. Maybe that's yeah. what he wants to do. I think so, that must be the reason. And, you know, if you can walk away from it, I don't think it's fair to say, well, you just cost all these people their jobs. Right? I mean, I know that's not what you're saying, but I'm just saying that's not, that's not fair for someone to direct it towards him because it's his right. If the contract's over, for him to say, I don't want to do this anymore, that, that's fair. It's also fair for like when Kim Cattrall didn't want to do Sex, Sex and the City, City 3. It's a very, you know? uh, it, it's a very scary thing that people have. People don't realize that they're doing it when you hitch your wagon to yeah. somebody else's success. Like you look at everybody who was working on Roseanne. That's right. And she uh, enjoys her Ambien mm-hmm. and goes on Twitter, and all of a sudden there's no more show. Right. And so, and well, then they, they try to course correct and they want to do a show with the cast of Roseanne, just not featuring Roseanne. So they want to have Laura. Metcalf and they want to have John Goodman on, on this show. But they are doing that, right? They are. Yeah. But it's like, that, if, if I don't know if that's going to be successful or not, right. but you have all these people that are like, we're all relying. You have to, sometimes in life, you just have to look at who you're really relying on right. for work. And if it all hinges upon this 65-year-old comedian who has said a lot of stupid shit in her past and right. may do it again, that's a risky maneuver. Totally. But and, and not the case for Parsons, obviously. It was, it was a matter of, like, hey, we want to do this again. What do you say? And he's like, no, thank you. I'm good. I would just say, like, is he is he married? Is he ever, he's, I know I he's gay, but is he he's, a, is he a husband? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. All I know is that he's really good when he calls in on yeah. Dan Patrick in the morning. Yeah, Big Houston I was just going to say, because if I'm his, his husband, I'm going, uh, let's put a little bit more money in the bank. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's Arla? like, yeah. Uh, he's 45 years old, so he's two, 45, two more huh? years, he'll be 47. Still, but I mean, still, that's, he's still a young man, you know? I, I would like don't to act like that's old. The, uh, yeah, to Beardo, that's ancient. Is, was, Beardo, was he born in the 30s? Uh... Might be forties, fifties. Yeah, his um, so his husband is named Todd Spiewak. So I think Todd is saying, "What? Do you, maybe Todd said, you know, do your thing.' Maybe it's Todd fine. says, "I miss you." Yeah. I haven't yeah. seen you in ten. Great years. point. But I, I would. I, I wonder if he talked with anybody like your the, the Matthew Perrys of the world, right. the uh, the Jason Alexanders yeah. of the world, or yes. even like, like like Seinfeld, where yeah. it's like, hey, you walked away from this, and now that you have some the benefit of hindsight, and you can Monday morning quarterback your own career. Do you wish that you had renewed for one more season? Right. Do you think anybody would say that out loud though? Because I feel like if you walked away from something you wish you didn't, you feel like it's the worst mistake of your life, right. and you're not going to tell somebody who calls you. Well, but Seinfeld phone. Seinfeld's different though too, because everyone always brings up Seinfeld with this scenario so far every time I brought this up well Seinfeld did the same thing Seinfeld owned that show yeah. Se- that was Seinfeld's yeah. show so Seinfeld could retire whenever he want and he's still going to get a lot more money than Jim Parsons is going to be from Big Bang because he didn't create Big Bang uh, that was you know so it's very different that's why I think that you know look good on him but I would just say to if it, I would suggest hey man stick it out if it was you I'd say think about Sticking it out for two more years. I know you don't like working, but stick nope. around for two more years and put that money in the bank. That's fifty more million dollars that you're gonna have, and then you do whatever you want. But, but see, you know, that doesn't are. sound. See, that's the thing. These, you get so much money, and it doesn't. That sounds like insanity to us. But that's not to them. I to, know. To but them, still, it's not. It's, the, it's still it's fifty lot, million dollars. It's a lot dude. of money, but when you, if it's you a lot of cabanas million, in Vegas. Yeah, but if yeah. you have millions. Uh. You know, I you know he probably doesn't have a blinking light on his car that he can't fix. You know, right. so I mean, fifty million you know, to a schlub, you know, right. is a lot. I get of it. Goddamn- what do you guys think out there? Hey, hashtag Collider Live, and let us know what you think. Is it good? T- should he stuck around? Should he good for him to leave? Um, take it all into consider- consideration. The same thing with you guys out there for the rest of the show. <laughs> hashtag Collider Live, and let's get some more interaction on the show. We'll talk to you guys a little later for sure. Um, and then also to let you know about the giveaway, um, we are. This is mine. I know That's it's yours. That's the one I'm giving. But we're away. giving away three. I don't know. Where's my camera? There it is. Three of the <laughs> Avengers Infinity oh, War. Three Avengers Infinity War. Uh, we are going to be announcing our winners on Wednesday. And how do you do that? You go to Apple Podcasts and you just leave a review. Leave a review, rate, comment, subscribe, do all that. Leave a review. And Mark Riley has already been going through them, but we are going to pick our winners on Wednesday. So there's already over 300 comments in there. Any good ones? Go yet? ahead. Yeah, there's a lot Some of great, great ones. ones. Yeah. So get in there. Has and Riley do been it. going through them? Or yes. has Riley been spending his entire weekend Doing what? drinking? Say at a floating tiki bar. <laughs> well, we're going to find out after the break. When we get back, we're going to talk uh, a bunch of different things. A little finishing up 
the news just a little bit. So get those. Uh, we're going to start talking about that boxing match because it is fascinating to me. It really is. It's fascinating. When we get back, Clara Love. This is music. everyone, Mark Ellis here. You know, when I'm not trying to clone dinosaurs or drinking in my neighborhood watering hole, I am probably hosting Collider Movie Talk. It's a flagship show here at Collider. I like to say that because I'm the host of it. It's every day, almost. It's four days a week, which is still pretty good, above 50%. You can watch it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. 4 p.m. Los Angeles time is when we do it. It's live, so you can participate in the live chat room. Go ahead and give us your thoughts on every story we have coming, because it's all the latest movie news of the day. Who did what at the box office? What horrible red box movies Bruce Willis signed on to? The DC, the Marvel, the Star Wars, the Lord of the Rings. Are they making new? I think they're, they're, it's a TV show, and we still might talk about it anyway, because we love movies around here. It's myself and an ex expert panel of guests, including John Rocha, Perry Nemiroff, Jeff Snyder, and other noted noters of note. You guys are going to love this show, and then we take your live Twitter questions at the end of the show at Collider Video. You can always use the hashtag Collider Movie Talk to get in touch with us, so subscribe right here to Collider Video. Check out Movie Talk, and check out the Collider Movie Talk podcast feed. We have a podcast feed now. You don't have to look at this handsomeness. You can just listen to it, whether you're driving to work, whether you're driving from work, or you don't have a job, but you have a basement and ears. You can listen to Collider Movie Talks feed. You can get it at Apple Podcasts or on iTunes. You also get Mailbag. That's the show that's hosted by Perry Nemeroff a lot more professionally than I run this pirate ship. That's our weekend show where she takes your letters. I don't know if you write them or you email them. You have to ask her. And Afterthoughts, hosted by Ryan Snelling and Jay Williams. I almost said Ryan Williams and Jay Snelling. Would anybody have known the difference? I certainly would. I would have felt bad about it because I'm a nice person, and that's why I host Collider Movie Talk. Check it out in video form or on our podcast feed. Hi there. I see that you're enjoying Collider Live. After this show, why not check out Collider Games, where we play, well, games. We review games. We talk about things, anything that's going on in the gaming world, our opinions, news, all kinds of stuff. So check it out. If you like it, stick around and subscribe. Hello, Collider fans. I'm Christian Harloff, and you see my stupid name in the background because that's my other show. It's one-on-one -on -one with me, Christian Harloff. What the hell is it? I just sit down and talk to people. I literally just sit down and talk to people about what the hell's going on in their lives and their careers, and it's a long-form interview show. Uh, originally, it aired on Collider Video as far as the YouTube channel goes, but we moved it on over, and it's on the Collider Video Podcast, Collider Podcast, excuse me, on YouTube Go on over there if you want to see the video and see the pretty faces that I'm talking to. I've had some great guests over the past, um, and we're going to have a lot more. And there's going to be people that you, maybe some celebrities or actors and actresses, producers, writers, all that stuff. But there's also a lot of the people that you know around here. I could have Copster on there. I could have Jeff Snyder, John Roca, Mark Riley, Roxy Stryer, whoever. And I'm going to find out more about them long form. And also go to Apple Podcasts and check out the one-on-one -on -one feed with Christian Harloff. And not only is my show on there, Mark Riley, the Riley Roundtable, which is another sit-down, long-form interview show. That's also there. And when Steve Frosty Weintraub talks to Kevin Smith or George Takei, that's going to be on that podcast feed also. So if you're taking a long drive and you like those long-form interviews, pop on the one-on-one -on -one with Christian Harloff. Give it a rate, comment, do all that because it helps the show and it makes Podcast One go, hey, you know what? Those people should get ad money. Hello everyone, Perry here, and what I've got to do right now is remind you that Mailbag airs every Saturday and Sunday right here on the Collider Video YouTube channel and also in podcast form as well. Podcast One, iTunes, we are on the Movie Talk feed, and this is a show where we get to sit back and relax and discuss a whole variety of questions that you guys send in. You send them in on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, email, Mailbag at Collider.com. Send in those questions and maybe myself and my special guest for the week, that's what this blank spot is for, will answer your question right here on one of the shows. So don't forget, check out Collider Mailbag every Saturday and Sunday on the Collider Video YouTube channel. We're back here. It's Collider Live, and it is Monday morning at the Collider Studios here in Burbank. I'm with Mark Ellis and Roxy Stryer. Woo 
Mr. Uh, Mark Riley. And Jack Hind is joining us at the table here today. Jack Hind, for all those people who are wondering who the hell is this guy, we, need, we, we just wanted to bring him in because he's English. That's the only reason why. Thank you for having me, Christian. It is lovely to be here. Is that, uh, is that the worst? It has been so long Mark, since... that's the best British accent I've ever heard. Nice. I've never heard you do an American <laughs> accent. Very nice. Very Yours nice. Very is actually nice. pretty good. Um, good. Jack was here because I was walking out. We, you know, we take our, our, our bathroom breaks and running out, and he's like, Talking about that fight, the Lo- the Logan Paul boxing match, right? Oh, he, he actually watched yeah. some of the things too. And here's the thing. And then Riley was telling me, I was like, I was like, why are people like, what what's what's the issue? Because I saw some guys like, well, I guess I'm gonna have to mute Collider today because I'm bringing up Logan Paul. And it's like, dude, listen, I don't like Logan Paul. <laughs> and then someone else said, well, why would you give him the publicity? This is a fucking story, man. Mm-hmm. This is a fucking story. We never talk about. We never talk about th- this guy, and I hope I never have to bring up his name ever again. I think he's a despicable human being, but I would. Be silly not to think of you. You look at what they did, like they so these are two guys that have no business boxing. Who More do, people who do watch the Logan against? Paul, like, yeah. So, Logan Paul, how do you fuck. even say the other dude's name? <coughs> KSI, Kissy, KSI, KSI, KSI. Letters, yeah. yeah. So, K-S-I. Jack, do you know how, how does it, how does this? Pardon? So how did this thing come to be? I want to talk to Jack. How did this thing come to be? <laughs> and what, what did it mean? So not too long ago, uh, two fighters, uh, KSI again, and uh, another British streamer called Joe Weller. Um, them two actually fought originally and had a fight and they streamed it and they uh, actually streamed it for free. And yeah. they got like 1.6 million viewers. It blew up. It took the social world by storm. But they're actual does. fighters? No, no, no. no they're just YouTubers. So KSI originally started off uh, doing FIFA streams. So he would play FIFA, just a typical gaming streamer. And then Joe Weller, from what I remember, is just a bit of a douchebag. Right. Um, just one of those on-camera vloggers types of people. Oh, look at my face consistently right. every single time of day. Both have like like 30 odd million subscribers on YouTube and they were like sod it let's fight each other in real life and pay, because and, 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 we hate and, and, and charge other. people for it so the Joe Weller one was free they, you didn't have to pay to watch it but now this one this they've one. realized they bought so much money and so it was $10 per YouTube stream and 800,000 people ended up crazy man like, and that's 8 million just in ticket sales like that's my, that's my point my point is like they are like they're on they, they did something smart they did something smart. It's the new form of entertainment when you think about it. These internet celebrities are the new celebrities right. and movie stars. Well, celebrity boxing right. back in the day, oh, right? Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, I'd yeah. love to see Idris Elba and Tom Hanks against each other. And these kids what, now are getting to right. see what they want. But the, and, different, the difference between Tom Hanks and Idris Elba <laughs> respect. and these guys, it, it's not a matter of respect. It actually is a matter, and I mean this not facetiously, is that they are talented individuals, Tom Hanks and Idris Elba, right. who have a lot of options. And one of the things that you have with some, not all, I don't want to lump everybody in this, but a lot of people who got fame on the internet when they were young, whether it's game or it's it's movie reviewers, whatever it is, there is a chance that because you made so much money so early on that you missed some crucial steps in your development to becoming <laughs> an adult and learning how to take care of yourself and learning how to provide for yourself and whatever family you have. So if you have a celebrity and it gets knocked down a peg like what Logan Paul has done to himself right. is that you say, well, how can I recoup some of my expenses and maybe get into the better graces of the public? Yeah. So in the same way that Bruce Willis will happily sign on to be roasted on a comedy Central, he's like, yeah, I'll do a celebrity boxing match because it's a way for me to make dude, money. He's talking, he's talking more than that. He, from rumors that I heard, he's talking about fighting in the UFC. And there's UFC fighters now that are saying, like, when? Let me know when. He and should I'll be donate there. all that paycheck to some sort of charitable organization if he's he really wants to get into he's the, horrible. the he's good not, graces. He's not I don't think it's just right. the internet fame that you're talking about as well. We saw the same with Justin Bieber, Miley Cyrus. I think it's more so just the age of which these people are getting their fame and their fortune. Even Bieber so. has taken steps though to be to, to like back to educate again. himself and just to, to realize that there might be a life for me after th- after this well, comet. Do we not think that down. Logan Paul could do the same thing? And I'm sorry, and I'm, if I lose every single follower I have because of this then fine fuck off (laughs) the truth of the matter is he fucked up right yeah Yeah. if if everybody was recording everything i did when i was a kid i would have fucked up fifty thousand. i think there's a difference there's a there is a difference absolutely but when we're living in a culture where people are going into their office and they're getting sexually assaulted yeah then and we're talking about that and we're talking about somebody who went and was incredibly disrespectful to people who have lost family members to suicide or people who have He's lost He's done a lot friends. more than that, though, too. I, I, I've followed yeah. him for a really long yeah. time, and I'm not saying he's a great dude I because I don't know him personally. He probably isn't a great dude, but could he be a great dude one day? Maybe. Maybe he could. I don't know. He's a kid. He's also a savagely smart businessman. Look at what he's done. Look at well, even what, when he was may, a- maybe so, but they're still savagely good businessmen and stuff too. That, that just you can done. that you, but you can just tell are not 
like they're not they don't have a good moral compass. You want another firestorm right now? Yeah. Uh, another savagely good businessman is Donald Trump. Right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, well, talk about savagely smart people. Hitler was really, really smart. Right. But anyway, what he go, did. Well, so, know, but, okay. Can we go back to KSI because he's go, English that, at least? Now jump, listen, saying. but jumping back, that's jumping, our new thumbnail. <laughs> but jumping back for a second though too, because the, my my point of all this, because I can certainly understand why people in the comment section or watching or listening would say, this frustrates me. This frustrates me that 800,000 people would spend $10 to watch this fucking guy box and make so much money. Well, guess what? It frustrates me, too. Me, too. Because the thing is, too, like, especially me, I want to promote stuff. I wish that 800,000 people would watch the Schmodown because I believe, to me, that more – I think that there's more and talent and inside of that and, and what they do. I would rather that. And but I Nobody have, disagrees with you. No, 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 no. I'm, I, I know they don't. I know they don't. Why, I'm just, why do you let this get to you? I, I'm telling you what my point here is, too, because I'm going back to it. I said, like, I can understand why you're frustrated. I am, too. But I have to also say, though, this is what they did. I can't stomp my hand and stomp my foot and A, say, you shouldn't talk about this because you should That's talk about this. That's what I'm talking this. about, the business aspect right. of it. It is, it is a very good – I'm agreeing with everyone here. I Christian, think the business... I drive by this guy's house every day. I drive by yeah. his house every day. He lives in a massive mansion. Yeah. And I sit there and I think, I have worked really hard for a decade. And I'm pretty good at what I do. Yeah. And I'm a good person. And look at what he has. How is it possible? But at the end of the day, you have to hand it to him. He's done something right. Yeah. Is he a good person? No. Ryan, Ryan Satin's messaging us as well, and he's saying that, like, for starters, his girlfriend paid the 10 bucks to watch it. So okay. yeah. sorry, Satin's girlfriend. But you're trying to say it's staged as well. The, I was don't staged? Believe, I don't it was staged. I don't believe it was staged personally. I Did do you I watch any of the it highlights? It ended as a draw. Okay. It ended as a draw, so I do see how, okay, this is gonna end in a draw. What does that mean now? We do get to do a rematch. But I don't honestly think it was staged because Logan Paul came out and he was hammering it. After the first two rounds, you honestly thought that Logan was about to floor him with it, but it was a six round match and then it came actually as a good fight towards yeah. the end. It was actually I heard he was winded. I heard he was exhausted. He was after gassed. The, yeah, yeah. Which, after the which first one, Logan? Logan. Yeah. Logan was gassed after the first two rounds and KSI was able to still keep going. Yeah. So to actually watch it as a fight, if you forget about who they are and who they were, it was an en entertaining amateur fight to watch. Yeah. So... I can't. I, I'm happy these fights are happening. I'd like to see other in celebra internet celebrities getting involved in it, as long as they're safe, as long as right. they're being trained properly. And if this is the new form of internet entertainment or a new form of internet sports, then yeah. I'm not against. That, it. That's kind of where I'm going yeah, at. With but that. to be fair to you, like, yeah. like you cannot pull your hair out over this. You I'm really not. Can't. But I'm not. You, you seemed like you were really no, upset no, no, no. that so many people watch this. No, thing. no, no. My point is what I said was too. I can understand when people would get would, are frustrated. I said I can be frustrated too because like the thing is, I think like. I also, I think it is a very smart business move, and I understand what they would do, and I understand that he was able to take this following that he's had, and he also realizes that a lot of people hate him and want to see him get punched in the face. Absolutely. Exactly. And so that's, that's what, exactly what he did. And, he, and I guarantee you, inside of that meeting, he's like, there's so many people that want to see me get knocked out. Let's charge people money, money to, see to see if it. I can get knocked out. And it's smart. I'm not, like I said, I think it is a smart thing. I'm. Is there a part of me, like the same way when Roxy drives by his house and goes, how come I can't have that because I work so hard? That stuff will chew you up. Yeah. What it is on me, it's on me. How do I get more eyes on the showdown? How do I get more people to come to the event on September? Start 8th? having that's fights. How, that's I know, right? I well, I did. Say, I, <laughs> at the spectacular, a guy tackles Roka. It's like one of the. Yeah, our, I was going to say your, yeah. what, what your By thought way, process have you seen should their Twitter? be. Oh. Is yeah. how do you get more people to go see live events without stooping to the level <laughs> right. to the of level. Logan? Well, I wouldn't. I mean, that's the thing is that I wouldn't. I, I, I'm confident enough in the personalities and the yeah. events that we put because I, you asked me before as far as highlights go too. The last live event was probably the most satisfying for me because we did – it was a p perfect mixture of – the trivia played, the theatrics, the showmanship, everything too, and the amount of people that were there and they experienced it. Like everyone that was there, like the fans, like they, oh, like they, they, there's so many repeat people it's, coming back too. That, that, and I have another big moment that I have planned already on September like 8th that I just came up with over the weekend and it's going to be just as big. I did not receive a text message. Not yet this Christian, will be interesting. You're an internet personality. Would you ever do this? Boxing? Not at, not at my age. Logan Paul's 23 years old. No matter old, what the paycheck was? Yeah, no. Four, I, it depends on who should, it was. Dude, you should totally not not just cast this. Yeah, it depends on who it, it yeah. depends on who it was. And I think what if that, it's me? I wouldn't box you, no. What if it was somebody you wanted you. to kick because the shit out of? Because you kick my ass? I, would, I wouldn't want to punch you. I, who what? You, okay, who would you, you want to punch? You wouldn't want to punch. No. <laughs> who would you want to punch? No, what? Who in the internet space do you want to punch? I don't think there's anybody out there right now. We need a boxing match to make a lot of money is all I'm saying. 
No. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just let's just walk through this. Because you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get me you're gonna get me into trouble here. I know. And walk. Because I know I know who I would. I know. I know who you would. It's gonna start a thing. I know who you would too. It's gonna start a thing. I was hoping you would say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. I was hoping you would, but you probably as your friend I probably should hope not. I would do it. Yeah. You it's not who you think. It? It's not who you're thinking. Of. I'm thinking. Uh, we'll, we'll talk yeah, about yeah, this yeah, off air. Yeah. It's exactly who I'm thinking. Do you have no. some? Do you do you have somebody that you and and but huh. like like again? I don't I don't have any deep rooted desire to punch Christian. But I think it'd be an interesting internet phenomenon. What's your if price? Did box. Oh boy. Um, I would do it for. Can I say? Can I set the bar at a million? million if I dollars? knew, if I knew each one of us was going to make a million. How much do you think Logan Paul made for that fight? Well, I'm going off advertise. I would say over five, almost ten mil crazy. each a piece. I reckon. Crazy. Do you make the same amount? Ticket sales. See what I'm saying. That's and crazy. then twenty-one thousand people were Dude, actually there so... at the Manchester Arena as well. So you got to yeah. think about I, them. I don't like sales. anything well, about him as a human, but I think that that look, yeah. it was a, it was a bold business decision. It was a smart move. I, I, I don't like him as a human either. Just yeah. to make that clear. Yeah. But I, you you have to give credit where credit is It was a smart move. I could be interested. I'm interested in Christian and I. Yeah. Go ahead, Copter. I could be wrong about this, but I know when they initially started it that they were all the proceeds were going to go to charity oh, really? but i don't know if that's still the case or not well, you probably realized how much they were going to make yeah, yeah, yeah. i don't like, think yeah, that we'll is put, the case we'll put a portion of this a to portion, charity it's going to be right. more than enough to what, shut what everyone he, up what he should what he should do pocket. is put it towards suicide prevention that's what yeah. i think initially yeah. was but i don't know if that was updated or not right well he should do that if he was you know but i don't know i mean that's a way to kind of win yeah. i mean, I mean it, it, everybody you, you just can't compare yourself to to other even within your own industry it's good no. from a competitive aspect to be like oh I, I want to be like these other people and i want to do the things they're doing but there's just certain times in life when you have we have shooting stars that go by and you're like i th there's nothing i can do with that no. there's thousands of comedians that are more successful than me right. and got more successful than me way earlier than i achieved any modicum of success you just can't compare yourself you can. to anybody It'll, else i'm telling you man it'll eat compare you up leads to despair it really but it does though That's too good. i remember like <laughs> i had a conversation with our, our buddy ari shafir and we had a conversation we both were just talking one night i can't remember how it came up but we both were like no you can't say like uh, that guy has more than I do, and I'm better than him, or this. To, it'll, it'll eat you up, and it also concentrate on you. Mm -hmm. Because the thing is, too, what you're doing today is not what you're going to be doing tomorrow. Yeah. And you're giving some great life advice to a young one right now. But it's so the I truth. I appreciate this. This is very wonderful. But it's the truth, though. I mean, like, again, like, it's good to be aware, though. It's yeah, good right. to be aware of everything else that's going on. 100%, because that's yeah. like, that's look, look at what Mike Tyson did back when he was like, Tyson, right? Then he was. He used to watch all the old fights. He used to watch mm -hmm. Marciano. He used to watch uh, Dempsey. He used to watch everybody. And because you want to know everybody that was there before you in the heights, because you it helps you. The same thing you just talking about with comedy. You watch Carlin and Pryor, and you watch everybody too. You watch the greats. You watch everything, and you watch everything happening today. Who are the people that are popping today, and what are they doing? It's not to say you rip their jokes off, but you say, oh, that's the style that they go on. That's why they do it because you watch timing. You watch the ability to control a stage. You watch these things. And so there are things that this guy is doing, this Logan Paul character, that there are YouTubers out there that shouldn't be following a lot of stuff he's doing. But there's other business model things that he has done. You can learn from mistakes. He can yeah. absolutely. Dice, his merchandising, sorry to cut yeah, you off. His merchandising makes him sound like 50 grand a day. And when you see his videos, it's just gang, 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 gang. Like they're just, he's just t literally telling all of his millions of followers to just go and buy his merch. This guy's like a $3.8 million jet. This kid he, knows what he's doing. Yeah. He makes bank. And here's the other thing. If we do, if we write people off and we say they're a bad person now, they'll always be a bad person, we'll never forgive them, guess what those people go and do? Bad horrible, stuff. bad things. Yeah. Like, horrible, horrible yeah, things. If you think you're un not redeemable, if you think that people, there is a chance of forgiveness, if you think there but is there a is, chance. Yes, but there's sometimes when you try to forgive, when you forgive somebody one time and then they, that, then they come I, back and spit in your face. I right get it, but we back people into a corner because if they've done something bad and we're like, okay, that makes you a bad person, no matter what you do in the future does not matter. Just depends. It matters. It all matters. I forgive, uh, I forgive innocence. Yeah. I forgive making innocent mistakes time and time again. However, I think that uh, some of the things that he's done were clearly calculated because he knew he was going I to agree. have a backlash, and it keeps your name in the news. Yeah. And he yeah, was really, and besides I, I don't just disagree, that, but but he's walking around the culture and he, he's really doing some really disrespectful shit out there. But anyway, this, that's 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 other shit that's in the, my my focus on this. What I wanted to do was focus on the fact this the thing caught news fact, because I'm sure Dana yeah. White's got to be looking onto this, right? You got to, I mean, mm -hmm. why wouldn't he? Because I think it's like. The model here, I still think, like, I, I was a big UFC guy, and I still like it. I still like it a lot, right? Um, 
when I you remember when we first met, I was literally I was making rent by betting on UFC fights. Like I, I because when it first popped in like 2005, I mean I know that it started in '93. <laughs> I was great at betting because like in 2005 is when it popped because Ultimate Fighter. Yeah. Right. And then um, I really started getting into it, and I would go to the websites, I would do all my research, and I would see who the fighters were because the difference with like boxing and and MMA was that in boxing it's really like whoever is is the more skilled of the boxers is typically going to win that fight yeah. most of the time. In MMA, it was a crapshoot because if the if the wrestler was able to get the boxer on the floor, it's over. It's not much and so I Matt Serra versus GSP was a was a Damn, big match, a right? And it was a, one of the biggest uh, lopsided uh, as odds go, right? And I bet on Matt Serra. I bet a lot of money on Matt Serra because of I knew how, the power that he had, and if he could caught GSP, down. And so my point, my point is that I was really into it. But the problem, why besides having a family and everything too, it's harder to watch. Um, the problem is. It got really expensive, and they're doing so many more events now. It's expensive to keep up on UFC. Then I started watching when I was getting back into WWE, and the reason I did that was because of the Schmodown. I want to catch up, and I'm like, how am I going to catch up to all this shit? Like, well, the WWE Network is ten dollars a month, and what you get inside of that network is all of the past catalogs, all the pay per views that they normally charge fifty bucks, everything for ten bucks, and I caught up like that. I caught up and I figured out all of it, and I was able to do it. If the UFC offered that. If the UFC offered like ten dollars a month for all the pay per views back catalog, I would be caught up tomorrow. I think the I, I think the thing that you and Dana White have in common, and and because I don't take it to a Vince McMahon level, and I think this probably goes back to one of the perceptions I have about wrestling, which is why I'm not a fan of it, is that I feel like wrestling is all circus and no actual substance. Even though the matches might be fun to watch, but if they're fake, then then I don't care about. Lock it the anymore. door. Lock the door. But I want set in the sound. No, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Pete, Pete Kool Aid, man. I am not Josh McCool. Yeah, I, I know. But uh, but when it comes to the UFC. See, I think what Dana White is looking at is he sees like like crap like, like the Logan Paul yeah. fight, or even if he watches wrestling, he's like, I don't want my league, which is based on a real technical sport where we don't have the outcomes predetermined. I don't want that to evolve into a circus. So you have to ride that Conor McGregor wave yeah. very carefully. But he teaches Same lessons thing with you. He teaches lessons sometimes, uh, Dana White. And he does it sneakily. He did it with James Tony because yeah. James Tony was a boxer who right. said he, and he can he got his ass whooped by Randy Couture. He did it with CM Punk. And CM Punk got his ass whipped twice, mm -hmm. and then he just because you listen to Rogan, Rogan's like that dude shouldn't have been anywhere Should near the UFC, the UFC but right. they did it for the spectacle of it, right? Yeah. If Logan, I guarantee you, if Logan Paul started training a little bit, Dana White would give him a fight, snap him up in a hop. Dana White yeah, would give him a brutal. fight. I'm telling you, he'd give him a fight, and he'd let him get his fucking head kicked in. And yeah. there'd be so many people out there that would be signing up to get this guy. Is there any chance he could be good? No, Who, Logan it, Paul? It, yeah. it, 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 because not huh. not against these guys because these guys have been, been training, training for, for years. for so long, yeah. and like he would have to because that's again this isn't UFC in 1993. Every bit of these fighters now are skilled, and they train now in every aspect, whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, boxing, whatever. They know it all. It's not like back in the day in 93, you could just kind of come out with one. Even, even during the Chuck Liddell yeah. years, right? Chuck Liddell would come out, and he would be the fight. Iceman. He was yeah, that's, but he would, he would be able to survive in just with his striking, how yeah. quick he was. Even a prime Liddell wouldn't be able to survive uh, now. He just wouldn't be able One to. One of the things I love about uh, the, the Expendables movies is that Randy Couture, is he the best actor in the world? No. <laughs> no. But it's w whenever you t whenever any one of those Expendables guys, these are like, you know, cinematic badasses oh, yeah. for generations. Every one of them, to a person, said that any, because I was like, oh, who would win on set? Everybody. Is like Randy Couture would kill any one of us. Oh like yeah, that. in a heartbeat. Well, you look yeah. at again. Well, that, Chuck Norris was in the uh, the third one, right? So maybe Chuck was, second well, one. Well, second one. Right. Chuck well, that's Norris. what I Chuck Norris will kill you with a look. <laughs> before before the Monday debacle, <laughs> before the Monday debacle of the garbage people thing, I was trying to get into the watching Ronda Rousey fight in in SummerSlam, right? Because mm -hmm. you look at what she does. Because there's a big debate between the wrestling community right now because she just won the championship over uh, at SummerSlam, and she like crushed the champion. She beat her in like a minute and a half, two minutes, something along those lines. And there's a debate right now that it's called a squash match. Like, should she have beaten the champion that easily, right? Ryan Satin's argument was that, of course, she should have because she was Ronda Rousey and she was this MMA just legend, right? And my argument against it was this person was the champion. You can, and because you can script it, you make him a Christian, little bit of a fight. Christian, who was the champ? Uh, Alexa Bliss was the champion. And so, anyways, but, they, but you just see how she was going to transition over, right? She transitioned over so well, and I was skeptical. She's a, an atrocious actress. She really is. She got um, better. She's getting better. She got, she was better in, uh, in, Mile, 22. in Mile 22, yeah. for sure. But she showed up at WrestleMania was where she said, let's, let's show what she can do. She, she had the best match of the night. 
And she is, when she is dedicated to as far as and she has been, like she she looks nasty right. in the ring. She looks really good. And it's entertaining as hell. It's the one I look forward to. I, I fast forward through a lot of shit. I don't fast forward through any of her stuff. You guys are saying then that if you can't I'm just playing devil's advocate because I do actually agree with you. But if you're saying that these actors or these Logan Pauls, these personalities can't get into fighting, why do these fighters who maybe have not really ever acted a day before in their life think that they can suddenly get into the world of acting and now come and act in front I of the camera I instead? Think it's, I think it's the same thing. I, I, I don't think there's any difference. I think that there's... So if know, we're giving fighters the chance in acting, why don't we give yeah, actors the fighters, personalities there's a lot the chance of, there's a lot, fighting? There's a lot of difference, though, <laughs> there with, because the difference is this, too. You're, you're, not, you're not putting someone at risk as far as physically, right? I mean, depending on the action it's movie or something. Too. Also, okay. Logan Paul was a wrestler in high school. I was think. he really? Yeah, I think he okay. was. Okay. So, I mean, that's a step up. And, and you look and, at Brock Lesnar. Yeah. I mean, yeah. a lot of yeah. different, but Brock, Brock Lesnar was a wrestler. Don't get this confused, either. I don't have a problem with Logan Paul doing this. My point is that is that it clearly is a move of desperation to a point where, yeah. like, what else do I do yeah. to repair my image? But the crucial difference between anybody who is an actor, an actress, or even a, an internet personality versus an athlete is that you have such a narrow window as an athlete of any kind a, to make a living. Right. You look at running backs. Adrian Peterson just signed with the Redskins. He is 34, I think. He's 34 years old, and he that's, might have one or right. two more seasons. Well, listen, that's my, well, that's my point from before. Player. We were yeah. just talking about that Jim Parsons thing, right? It's like, put your money away, kid. Whatever you just made on this fight, yeah, yeah, yeah. put it away. Don't start buying new houses that Roxy can drive by. Let's get a new, <laughs> let's get something. Please like, don't, put, God. But put it away. Because like, you know, because the difference is Jim Parsons is a way, if I'm going to Vegas and taking my Matt Sarah bet, yeah. I'm betting on Jim Parsons to survive his career a lot longer than I am Logan Paul. I'll tell you that much. Yeah, but anyway, uh, moving on here from, uh, from just this, I wanted to actually, we something that we did last week that we had a lot of fun with and I, and I when I'm bored, I'm, I'm at home and I'm going through videos that I pop up all the time. I can't imagine you ever being, being in your household how crazy it is! I yeah. can't imagine you ever being bored, dude. I'm telling you, it's like sometimes I can't imagine anyone being bored. Think about everything that's in front of us. I'm just saying. Oh, like, I'm bored all the time. It's only very bored easy to be bored, Roxy. What? Right. The only bored people are boring people. Just well, think about something. But I've been, but I've been looking, that's but I, I but I've been Go looking at videos, like you know, and and I, I send it now to to Riley. I see a new because that's the, with the show. I see a video that I like. I, I text it to him immediately and I say, let's talk about it because there's some stuff and stuff that I know. What I love about you is you're, you're so clueless sometimes with the shit that's on the internet. Yeah, like I I have shown you videos. That were viral from years ago, and you'd never seen. I it. just watched uh, Charlie bit my finger. That's the first time you ever Are seen you that. Oh, Charlie, that's Ow. so good. So it's so funny. good. Are you it's kidding? So good. No, Charlie no. bit that's, me. But see, that's my point. <laughs> Have you seen shitting on the toilet? No, shitting no. on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> shitting on the toilet. <laughs> uh, all right, so we have a couple. So we have so a couple good. of videos. I got. I'll show Riley's first. Is Riley <laughs> is obsessed so with this fucking video? This is, this and, is the right, but wait, but let me. Okay. So let me Just set this thing set up here. Up. So, so this thing that Riley had found. You got to set it up because if you don't, it's a little confusing. But yeah. The, so, the, yeah. It's you got to look in the background of it too. Which one is it? It's the dog one. Okay. okay. So the, from Twitter. So yeah. It's so let's so pause it. So funny. Stop it, Roxy. You you can give your opinion on it afterwards. I know you hate it, but I it's actually. The the best part about have you seen this yet? Mm -mm. All right, so this so go back. Oh, no, go no, no, back, no, I go did back, see this one. The GoPro dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the music yeah. that we, you we play, have to play. The you got to play the music, and the best part about it, the, guy, the dog steals the the GoPro. And the best is the fucking guy running after him, waving his arms like a lunatic in the background. The other dogs they can't catch this fucker. Do we get, get the music going on? All right, let's get, look. The Benny Hill music in the background. It's the best. <laughs> So look, he's trying so hard. He's moving. He, look at the guy in the back. The guy waving his arms in the background. This dog is just like looking for some shit. And it, he, he stops. The best is he fucks with the other dogs. Like he stops. Yeah, he stops. He knows. He's like, okay, where are you fuckers? And he stops. Yeah, look. Look, he stops. he's got the blue thing in his mouth. He stops. He's like, where are they? And look how fast this guy is. He takes up, leaves them in the dust. Like, and the, like, how fast is that dog? He stops again. As soon as they get close to him, he's out. He is out. That dog is moving. And then the guy in the back with his hands <laughs> up in the air. And all of that, see, that one dog almost catches him towards the end, though, too. But, man, that dog moves. That this was, is, this right? is so upsetting that Roxy doesn't yeah. care. What do you not you, like dogs? What are Roxy you guys is watching? Like, That's do you not funny. like dogs? What about it do you is not funny. Like, are you the a cat Benny person? You do not have a dog. No, I, I always had dogs growing up. I yeah. love. I like so dogs So you know that when dogs grab something and they, get, and they get playful and they want to keep, keep away, the GoPro... Is, is filming Love the Riley thing. going nuts here. I don't it's, it's get it. It's the greatest it. video on well, the internet right now. Why is it right funny? Now. It's it, it's 
That's funnier than Happy Time Murders. I'm sorry. Are you? Yeah. That is funnier than Happy Are you Time Murders. Why do you kidding? think that's funny? Yeah. The dog stole what? a... What's funny? It's, What's well, funny? I, I, I'll tell you. It stole a GoPro. That's number one. Number two is the guy in the orange shirt waving his arms like an imbecile trying to catch the dog. And to be fair... Number three is the fact that the dog is stopping and fucking with me. smell my ass as I run even faster right now. Like, that is... that. What do you not find funny about it's, that? And, uh, it's and a very, dog running. The very oh. stable genius added the Benny Hill music yeah. that made it a masterpiece that's of the, that's the best Benny part Hill music right. makes, ma- makes everything yes. better. Uh, my favorite part kidding? of the vid, to be honest with you, is just no. like the focus on the dog's... Uh, in the dog's oh, eyes. Yeah. Dog doesn't blink yeah. once. He's so, just... All right, hit, hit we the YouTube. Hit the YouTube comments. Funny video. Somebody... Somebody help me out. I want to... I want to ask oh no, Jack. I want to ask the, the the commenters if we got uh, if, if is it funny or is it Roxy right? Is it not funny? Go ahead and comment in YouTube and also hashtag Collider Live and don't forget about the giveaway. Go on over to Apple Podcasts, subscribe over there, and um and yeah. So we have some other videos too. What's in, <laughs> cops? Throw another one up there. What do we got? Oh yeah, oh, these guys. Morons. I don't get See, it. These the, uh, guys. GoPro yeah, yeah. So so this is ha- this happened in 2016. Where are these guys? Were they in? Were they in? They were in China. Look at these guys. Can, China. This watch one, these guys. This one's crazy. But watch, yeah. This have you seen this, Ellis? No. Dude, no, dude. I don't like watching videos of people getting hurt. They don't get hurt. They don't get hurt. For but, audio only no, listeners, that, we're watching some. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I'll. I'll, I'll it's a so they're going. Look. Oh. So they're jumping from building to building. Hardcore parkour. People. People have. Yeah. Hardcore parkour. But they. They have gotten. Not in this video. They have gotten hurt. And that's why this is. They snuck into these buildings, and these guys are jumping. Like this is like. This is insanity. You can tell us people get the out. scariest part is when the guy's running on the corner and he turns around to look at his friend. Like, have you ever really? been yes. running and tried to B- turn but around? But look at these guys. It's like this is like oh, superhero man. shit, man. Like you like Is this sped up or this is real? No, time? this is no, real. real. Watch. They they show this one look at this. Like like no. can you imagine like that are you kidding me? Like I'm I'm off the I'm off the ledge within the first ledge. There's- I talked about how I, I I hurt myself at UA movie theater. These guys are leaping. <laughs> Back and forth. If Mark and I weren't bored, this is the stuff no, you we wouldn't. would be doing. No, you wouldn't. If anybody did this, exactly. it'd be Mac- up to the roof. The only person <laughs> I can see trying to do this is Makuga. And and look, trying no, being no way. He's was. way too scared. Like this is insanity, dude. They're no. like leaping back no. and forth, and like, like you can understand how people have have definitely eaten shit from this. I'm, I'm sure. Look, look at that. I well, mean, are you kidding what me? What was that uh, Paul Walker uh, parkour movie? He was I in remember, a movie. It was a, it was a, it was a remake. Uh, the precinct, uh, the precinct movie. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it was a remake of a, a really. I forget the name of it. The taking a piece. It was the no, same. They, they, they kept the same. Something name. else. Yeah, whatever yeah. Wait, it was. The scariest part is coming up. Is this it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You look at so. Dude. I mean, it's like because there's no stopping. There's no stopping. Like they, this is like the full adventure. Yeah. And we, we we get the benefit of having the music. Look at this. Oh, that was sick. Like like they had to, like they, they they went through this entire thing, and like you know. Said, all right, here's here's our crew, and like, here's our uh, our plan. These, these they've used this a bunch of movies, though. Dude, as well. this is insanity. Like these guys are nuts. Is, is there some sort of uh, like, like like security cop with the Benny Hill well, look, music chasing out? They're about chasing to wave, they're about <laughs> to wave at him. They wave at him yeah. like nothing. Yeah. That would be great if they had the dog with the Benny Hill music right after them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, that's that's insane. Turn off. But that was that to me. I'm with you. That Dude. that's the stuff that I like to watch because it's freaky. But deep it's in insane. That. That's yeah, like for sure. like I'm happy to get into a boxing ring against yeah. my better judgment. I do that. Not no. in not in it, it, for all the money. Literally all the money in the world. Yeah, I'm dead within seconds. But speaking of, I got to bring up stupid people. Um, not this person that in this oh, video. Please. You can bring. You can. You, no, no, no. That was it. That was it. I thought you were looking at me for it. No, oh, no. You, no. This this is the parents. Watch this. This, this is the parents. Like, this like, drives me insane. This is it, like the parent. Hey, I'm gonna let my kid go outside, and, and you know she's outside and right near my in my nice pool, and well, here's the here's the water on top of it. Hey, where, where are you going? All right, be careful. Oh, don't be careful. Oh, the lightning oh, just hit you. Geez. And oh. and it's like Shazam. It, it's like don't have your kid playing in the rain. In the it's like I, I'm get get. Get inside. It's raining, and they're using an umbrella. It's using an umbrella. Kid, is Where the kid is okay? this? So what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's like is the kid alive? Uh, yeah, I think the kid's fine. The kid's fine, right? You think the kid's fine? I hope the kid's. We're just gonna go with the kid's fine. The kid's fine. No, no, no. The kid's fine. The kid's fine. Who puts that online? Seriously, the mother. There's another reason to dope. Who? Well, obviously her. But it's like I mean, come on. You're near. I mean, what's the deal with these people? Do you write your college essay about that? I mean, you have to. It is. Who does that? 
Who does that? Benjamin who? Franklin. That's who does it. That was, no, Benjamin Franklin was smart. He was a kite. This. He used a kite, right? It, right. It, it, no, he, he was actually really dumb because he tied a key to a kite to or a something. Yeah. Okay. And he's like, hey, how can I get more metal to a track? Well, I just think that is <laughs> really stupid. Off, but. All right, uh, Jack, I got I to gotta kick you out because I want to get thank Brett you. back in here. Uh, but thank you for joining us. We'll have you back in for sure. Yeah, uh, I need yeah. to watch The Raid. You haven't watched I'll the raid. I'll watch it this week. Don't watch the raid. I'm it's trying to get these kids. This, this Jack and Dorian still hasn't seen Braveheart. I'm trying to get the two of them to come He's in the and, and they can do their review. It. He's <laughs> the worst. <laughs> get out of here, Jack. All right, let's bring Brett back in because I want. And you know what? Just hand Brett the the microphone because I want to go check in on Frank and see how Frank's doing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Frank. Uh, is he is he at work? Um, Next door, I probably. Yeah. I mean, so it's 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 been a kind of a, a routine. Just uh, if we, if we can, cops, or let's try to let's yeah, try we're, to f- we're getting to him right, getting right? No. Okay, yeah. cool. Gotta go right. find Brett. Hold Brett's hard. here. There he's right there. All right, so Brett's gonna go and check in with Frank. We've been checking in. So on Monday, does Brett have carte blanche to enter any office, or does he have to not? I mean, Fernandez is here, so you know, even better. Put he, in his office. He, he, oh, is he in his office? I think so. Yeah. All right, we will send we'll send Brett into Frank. Fernandez take him right is in out. Frank's office right no, now. No, Fernandez is in his office. I don't know if the mic will the mic carry that far. Mm-hmm. Brian, I think so. Hopefully, yeah. We're going to have to start rearranging people's we can offices. Try it. We can it's like try when you're a kid and you get walkie talkies oh. and you yeah. try to test right. the range. Yeah. Brett is in the office. I am Frank in here. Right you're in with Frank? Okay. Do, yep. we, do, we have, do we have camera day or not? I don't think we have no the camera. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So let's, uh, let's uh, Brett, ask uh, Frank how, how his weekend was. Well, I just, you know, TGIA Monday, right? <laughs> yeah. How was your weekend? <laughs> oh, it was good. It was good. He, see, he's asking me the questions now. Brett, how was don't your fall weekend? for that trap. You <laughs> are the interviewer here. Yeah, Brett, come on. Don't let Frank overpower you. Follow up question How was your weekend? My weekend was wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I, I'd like to say the same. It was part wonderful, part horrible. Uh, what did you do this weekend? Uh, I, I want to hear about this horrible part. <laughs> I was in Vegas, so don't that's let all him, you need don't to let hear. Don't let him do he it. Just, he just spun it on you twice. <laughs> he man. spun it. He spun it. Uh, you're actually, I, I, I have a feeling you're starting to enjoy this. It used to be miserable. I feel like you're enjoying it now. Are you enjoying this? It's part of my daily routine now. You know, I, I missed it on Thursday and Friday, I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, wow, you missed see, us? See, see. So ask him, does he want us to go five days a week? Oh, Christian just said we're going five days a week now. I take that back. I'm sorry. <laughs> ask him if you listen to Afterthoughts this Did weekend. Did you uh, listen to Afterthoughts this weekend? Uh, I'm about halfway through. Does haven't it? finished the whole thing. Does Shout out like to it? Ryan and Jay. What's up? Does he like the episode? Do you like the episode? Uh, I do so far. I agree with some things. I disagree with others. It's a... It's a lot of fun. Right, and and ask, ask, ask Frank. If, uh, uh, you got to see the look on his face. We're not being filmed. We're not seen on camera, but he yeah. seems very uncomfortable with this a little bit. Yeah. As am I. We both just right. look like we're really. So now, now I'm going to send you. Now I'm going to send you into Fernandez's oh. office. All right. Oh, great oh, great no. seeing you. I think go, he's talking with Matt Nose right now. Even, even better. Yeah. Even yeah. Better. Let's do it. Let's right, do it. Go walk in. Go walk into Fernandez's office and ask Fernandez if he remembers who you are. All right. Ask Fernandez if he remembers. If he can you get are. your first and last name. Yeah. See if he, see if he can remember your first and your last name. All right. Do you I'm give walk- Brett like cash and like he gives people like a dollar if they get it right? No, I like, keep it. You on. should give Fernandez a dollar if he. Yeah. If, he if gets you have it. a dollar, give Fernandez a dollar if he gets Uh-oh, it. Oh, I see. It I'm doesn't walk- matter if somebody's in there. Just you cannot matter. invoice us yeah. for that dollar. It's yeah. Dennis. Dennis is in there right now. Yeah. Go in and knock on the door. Oh no, I'm I'm getting a look like you shouldn't be coming here right now. Oh, and it's cutting out again. No, you're fine. You're good. You can hear you. I can hear you. All right. I got to step back. If I go even closer. Okay. All right. Fernandez, it's me again. Do you remember? Who I am, first and last name. Brett Sheridan. Oh! Nice. Yeah. Very nice. You must have listened to Afterthoughts. Okay, Brett, good. ask him if he knows what state you're from. Do you know what state I'm from? No. <laughs> <laughs> ask him that he knows. Works. What, yeah, all right. A, so ask him, uh, ask him what the big plans are for you here at Collider. What are the big plans for me here at Collider <laughs> with you know all this celebrity I've been getting lately? <laughs> Right now, there's no plan for you. <laughs> that sounds good. I'm glad I've <laughs> taken work off to do this. All right, take it. Um, All right, you can ask one more thing and then get out of there. What's that? Ask you one more thing a- and get out of here? Yeah. Dealer's choice. Deal- <laughs> you can't put me on the spot like this. <laughs> right. I just feel deflated now. Ask him what, 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 what are the big plans. What did he do this weekend? What did you do this weekend? Uh, I did a lot of gaming. A lot of gaming. Oh, I wanted to ask him a question. Go ahead. Um, That's why you're there. Why is it that when I bought into cryptocurrency, it went down the shithole? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> Get out of here. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I think we see why there's no long-term plan for Brett here at Collider. <laughs> Those kind of questions can get you in trouble. Uh, he's so good. <laughs> can't even take it from him. <laughs> you want Brett back in there? He's going to have, have, have a... You did great, Brett. I, I, I think a, Brett makes gonna be, me laugh the hardest gonna be out of everybody here. Who's that kid? 
He, he popped in. I don't know yeah. if people saw it. Yeah, oh, my God. Close just, the door, Brad. He's just sitting here. He, lo- he looks like the kid from The Shining right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable. Oh, Whose kid is that? Is that your kid? Yeah. yeah. No, it's just some random kid that yeah, showed up. Yeah, I don't you. know what happens in this office. Oh, it was amazing. What's, all right, so let's, take, let's, go to the, let's go to the twits, and we're going to go um, right. hashtag Collider Live. Let's get some comments and thoughts out there, too, because we've got about, uh, we've got about 20 minutes. We can talk, talk some stuff. And because the, the, I did the afterthoughts, guys, if you guys listen – Oh wait! Before they get to the afterthoughts, guys, I want to talk to you because you had—I I didn't bring it up before the. Break. Oh, are we doing the boxing match? No, we're not going to do the boxing match. You have some. You have some big stuff going on. We, there was got a some big, big stuff. I got big some big travel. It's a big announcement. Yeah. Uh, well, you want to make the announcement? Yeah, I guess Whoa. I'll make the announcement. Can you guys actually hear? I, I want uh, uh, pull up the uh, the website. Pull up markellislive dot com. There's some things on there that I added this morning, and um, you'll notice that uh, one of them in particular. It's not a show because I don't know if I'll have the wherewithal to do oh, shows. Look at that. But you see, wow. okay, is that see, legal to put those the the ad ads in the the Atlanta date? The what? So can you are you allowed copyright wise? I, I have not received a letter okay, from right, Lucasfilm yet. Right. Um, and so you see the uh, Relapse Comedy Theater in yes. Atlanta. That's uh, that, that one's on Friday. Okay, and then uh, see that next one, the Toronto International oh, Film yeah. Festival. Oh, wow. wow, wonderful! Nice. Somehow okay. going to TIFF. I will. On behalf right, of uh, Fandango and Rotten Tomatoes. They're, uh, they're Every day? Send me there to watch movies, and then people are like, well, wait, if TIFF is the 5th through the 12th, what's going to... Uh, we're going to Schmodown Live. We already have our tickets for the 8th. You scroll down, uh, you, all the way down, you can get tickets for the Schmodown Live. I am flying back Just to be that. on yeah. stage at the Schmodown Live yes. that Saturday. So basically, I fly to Toronto on the 5th. I get back the morning of the 8th. I do the show. I hop on yeah. a plane back to Toronto, fly from Toronto to Los Angeles on the 12th, and then on the 13th, I go to the Middle East. Okay. I want to point out wow. one thing. Uh, this is the reason I don't do other than being chicken shit. I don't do stand up. Twelve a.m. Twelve a.m. Are just, you kidding me? That, that was that was a clerical error. Oh, oh okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, maybe 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 in a little bit. Um, yeah. But you know, we should also. The thing is, can you guys bring awesome, up man. bring up Roka's Twitter for a second? I th- no, no. I think he. I don't know if he did it. Hopefully, I asked him to. I don't know if he did it last night. Um, it's about the stuff with Guy. No, I know him and Guy have been going at it. Holy crap! It makes me so uncomfortable on Twitter. But it's but but they're going in character, aren't they? I don't know. Yeah, it's. it's t- t- it's tough you to tell when it's a the character if you don't have your to, own. Go to tweets and replies. Like making to, fun of how each other make their incomes yeah, and tweets and replies. Yeah. Uh, well, because I want to well. I want to see Uh-oh. I want to see um, Give me one second I got to sign it. That's fine. Bit. That's fine. So we had um <laughs> Cover it up, Brett. <laughs> well, he sent me last night him and Merle um did this promo for the 8th and it was really good. I wanted to play it, but I don't know if he posted it yet. So if he didn't then um we can't show it. But but Nice, you just get, you oh, give it. What right. the? Yeah. Hey, let's. <laughs> easy, easy. You know, not on. Well, somebody's yeah. got a chance. <laughs> you know, you know, you, know, you can you, actually see that. You from might be the able board, to but, zoom um, in. Don't give your password here. Yeah. But also, why the, is that your password? Well, because of. <laughs> Was the red one and the purple one taken? No, it's because of the Shmoda. It's a, it's a classic moment in Shmoda well, history. Well, I'm going to have to change it now. You're going to have to change it now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and you're still showing it. You're still showing your plate. Well, thank you. Well, you guys can see it. They can't see it out there. Oh. That was good. Is that true? It's, it's on your camera right oh, now. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh, All right, it's right, gonna no. be minute. I gotta verify. It. That's smart right, good. switching. Good stuff. Anyway, so uh, oh, thank you. Point is, we are, we have that going down with Roca Merle it goes down on the eighth. You will be there. Big event. Big, big mm-hmm. thing I came up with that's gonna happen now at the end or maybe middle of the event. We'll see. Look, I want to be there. You'll be there. Okay. Then um, it's it's, it's going to be a it's going to be <laughs> a, a, live. at least a 16 hour travel day wow. there and back in 24 hours, and I'm doing it to I don't, uh, Christian. I don't go to shows unless they're sold out. Yeah, I know. I know. So, well, we're almost I'm just there. kidding. I'm just kidding. Well, it's going to be hard to sell are, out the Relapse Theater by Friday. Right. Well, we are almost. We are almost at uh, selling out capacity with Shmoda on Live. We just you guys need to get those tickets here. That's awesome. Soon here, but let's keep. Uh, he must have not. He must not done yet. So the ticket sales he didn't, didn't go yet. up after they found no, out I'd be in the audience. Sorry, right, don't worry about it, guys. Are you going to be in the crowd? For, I will uh, be in the crowd for, for that. Okay, good. Um, on live. Let's. Um, oh, we just sold out. We did good. <laughs> let's get to. I want to do so the first ha- hashtag Collider Live. Got some thoughts, concerns, and we're going to take some phone calls today. Whoa. We're going to do some phone do calls. We're going to try some phone calls. Do so it. do we have a? Uh, how do they call in? How do they call in, Beard? Do you want to give them the number? We'll put, we'll put that Cody's number up. putting up the number right now. There you go. All right, so Cody's going to put the number up. You guys can call in. I don't in. know if this is real, Roxy. I don't know if this is real. some calls, but we're going to first either. thing we do. Here we go, Riley. Yeah. First off, the uh, we put up a poll for yeah. the dog video. Oh, good, good, good. Okay. Split 50-50. Wow. Yeah. How many votes? How many votes? I'll uh, take that, right baby. Right now we're at about uh, seventy votes. 
Not 70 <laughs> votes. Not who, posted, who posted it? Uh, on, on Collider Video. Really? Dorian did. Yeah. In the chat votes. room, a lot of people doing? on oh, Roxy's side, though. Are they saying, checking? Guys, I mean, their guys. souls are dead. They're black it's and, over, and like crusty two, it's souls. Like they do not think it's funny. All right, there's like 2,000 people in the country. Go over to Twitter and vote on that thing. Yeah, yeah in the I, chat, there are a lot of people saying it's not funny. So go vote on it. Go vote on it. Fine to watch. Yes, funny. The devolution of our society, if somebody thinks that a kid getting struck by lightning is funnier, then I a didn't dog think that was funny. GoPro. I thought that was sad. No, I, but the dog me. GoPro, it looked like that device was made for a dog to, to put it in it, its I mouth know. and carry around right, and what's, film itself so What's that? Say some comments. Staged? Well, yes. Yeah, question Riley? Uh, let me find it because uh, I had that dog video. Well, well, uh, Matt, it's entertaining, not just video. the first time. What are you doing? Yeah. Stop with the dog video. A lot of people are talking about it. He loves dogs. What do you want? The guy's got biases. He's bringing them to the How about a random one? Let's see. Van Damme is a new death stroke. What do you think? Come on, let's go. I'm going down the timeline. Every you time can't, you, guys you say can't it. get mad at Riley not, I, if what, he's really yeah, right. you know, yes. quiet. Quiet. All right. like we got dumb. a phone call. We got a phone call. Wait. Hold on, Riley. Hold what? on. Because five minutes ago he gets flustered. I know. But five minutes ago I said, yeah. "Hey, we're going to take some comments." Yes. Hashtag Collider Live. Yes. But you're looking at the dog poll. And yes, you, I had it, the dog pull up, and no then one, I got to go no to the one next one. But no one asked for the dog. This man had his dog stolen by a Schmodown mm-hmm. competitor. You asked for the dog poll. I didn't ask for the results of the dog poll. Uh, you, you didn't, and you said how many people? When you ask for a poll, that, that was implies you want results. Listen, listen, him, this is up. one of the curses and one of my jobs that I'm going to have to just stay one step ahead of this man's head. All right, fine. It's hard. All right, before we do that, they, they, they want me to take a phone call, so I'll Let's do that. Do all right, all right. Is this so, a setup or a real phone? No, call? No, it's a real phone call. Mm. All right, so I can't even say I, yeah. what I normally say. I can't. I can't say because it it's not. It's not the same show. So, welcome to Collider Live. <laughs> Who do we got? Stop talking, Be- Mark Riley over there, Harlow. What are you doing? It's Matt Kearns. Here. Matt Kearns. Oh, so what's up? What's <laughs> up, man? So, what, oh, man. what you got for us today, man? What do you want to talk about? I mean, you know, it's Schmodown. I, I, we got the goat return to the Schmodown, of course. I'm not talking about Dan Merle, but the real thing I want to know is when are we getting late to the party versus take three? Late to the party uh, versus two take reactors, yeah. two popular to battle it out. Corner. Yeah, I mean in a boxing match. In a boxing YouTube match. Stars. Yeah, we'll have we'll have an All overall wrestling in match. We'll yeah. have a tag team match. We'll we'll see. We got Well, the first thing we got to do is see Ooh. how the fans. I got a text from my mom. Well, the fans that have the fans that have um, competed Hi, in the league so far have done um, have done pretty well. Late to the party did all right, but the real question yeah. is this Chance Ellison kid. Chance Ellison is paired up with Mike Kalinowski, and everyone's talking about this guy. Twenty years old, this kid, and they're talking about him as if he's. I already don't be like him. The next big thing, um, but Mike feels very confident with does. him by his side. He he's, does. He's been talking a lot of smack. I know. So it's Kalinowski and Chance. Um, now, if Chance show, I mean, twenty years old to come out and play against all these legends, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be something. So the fans are talking about him, but I'm I'm curious because we've seen people get hyped up before and then they don't deliver, or they get hyped up in their first match do well, and then the second one they. It's all about those lights when it's the lights hit you. Being on that stage. Is, so we'll Take a chance. Is he old enough to dance? We're going to find out on the Schmodown. Right, now we go to Roxy for weather. You got, you got another caller there, Beardo? Well, today uh, it will be a high. No, not yet. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the other comments. So. 76. Yeah. Uh, did you guys hear the comments of Ethan Hawke about well, superhero where? movies? No, what were they? He said that now they have a problem that they tell us Logan is a great movie. Well, it's a great superhero movie. It still involve people in tights with metal coming oh, out of his hands. Stupid. It's not Bresson. It's not Bergman. They, <sighs> but they talk le- like it is. So a lot of people are asking, it's stupid. That's like, a, why, that's, why are you making that that's, statement? That's, that's an, look, that's an, that's an idiot comment. Yeah. Uh, I like Ethan Hawke. Ethan Hawke is a, like a close personal friend. Yeah, you, you interviewed him once. Interviewed oh, him yeah. in 2012 for Sinister. Yeah. Dear friend of mine. Yeah. We still communicate all the time. Um, I don't agree with his take, yeah. but I also think it's very insignificant. It's it's very insignificant, but it's, a, it's an idiot take. I mean, it is. It's I agree. like Because Logan is a well-crafted movie. It, it, to it, you. But, but it, to me, but it, but it is though. It's a really, it's it's a well done film. It yeah, really, but it people, really, it, it, there, there's great movies no, 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 that people so, can but, say aren't great movies. That's not what he's saying. He's not saying it's not a great movie. He's saying it's still a superhero movie with tights and everything yeah. else too. He's, he's he's labeling it as something that's insignificant I, because it's a superhero. I bet movie. he hasn't seen it. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah. It's it's and that's not the case. The movie is the movie is the most one of the most layered films that I had seen in the last couple of years. It's today. like some idiot criticizing wrestling and they've never watched the match. Exactly. Wait it a would minute. be um, just like that. So, uh, to Honey, me, did you eat your broccoli? Yeah, that's it. I, I like Ethan Hawke very much. Very <laughs> dumb, dumb comment. Uh, what's next? Uh, who do you guys think is the best boxer in the office? And who would be? Uh, look, if if Christian dedicates himself, he's the best boxer. Yeah, because he can knock reach. you out with a punch. I would say that. The too. only intriguing thing about Christian and I boxing is if we if I can get it to 
like the fourth round, yeah. I think the endurance starts to take over. Today? If you can get a Stamina. Second round. Yeah. Second but round. that's the interesting thing, going back to Logan Paul. I don't watch the fight, but he's out of breath by the end. Like I'm, He's in shape. I consider myself in pretty good shape. Yeah. If, if, you, if it's your first time in a boxing match, you are. it doesn't matter how good of an athlete you are. You are going to be wrecked after yeah. round number one. People, what people do is then they get out there, they, they spend all their gas. They don't realize how much gas it takes out when yeah. you throw a big, heavy punch. Yeah. Like, I, you got to pepper with jabs. Like, when Roka and I sometimes will get into the middle of a slap boxing match in the office, right? And That's adorable. Yeah. And he'll, but like the <laughs> is thing. Is that true? Yeah, sometimes. And like, the thing is, I know, I know with Roka that Roka's a big dude. You got to get away from Roka. I would just pepper Roka with jabs all day. Not long. a great reach on Roka. No, because yeah. he, he'd be easy to keep peppering in the nose with jabs. Yeah. In a boxing match, in, like, in a real street fight, you got to be careful because if he gets his hands on you, you're in trouble. Yeah. But it's about who has the best endurance. Wouldn't that be Perry? Perry, yeah, it, Perry's it, an athlete. If though, Perry too. can, if Perry can take you into round eight, I mean, yeah. she's probably the best CrossFit athlete we have in the office. Perry's so athlete, if Perry yeah. can get in there, um, I th- there, there's other people that like, like again, going back to Christian's point, betting on that UFC fighter because if they land one good punch, they win. There's a lot of people like Joey Rizul. I don't know what his endurance is like, but if Rizul can land a punch, yeah, Mark I, Fernandez, I he was, can I land was gonna a punch. Say, for me, for me, I've seen I've seen the fire in Fernandez's eyes once, yeah. and like he. Ooh, what uh, happened? He, I just seen him, seen him get get it pretty intense, and he. Uh, I think Brett just saw it about oh, fifteen minutes. Know, true. But, did, I, did I see the fire? Uh, maybe, um, but he, but he was he. I think I think Fernandez, same thing. Ten years ago, can, could scrap if he catches you off guard. Yeah, with a jab, like same thing with you. I don't think Fernandez like, jabbing. I think Fernandez is coming. I'm, in with I'm, I'm saying if he catches you, yeah, he, he can knock you out with one. Yeah, punch. you can tell he's he's got some he's got some punch. He's yeah. staring yeah. at your neck the yeah. whole I, time. You know who I think would you know who I think would be actually be a good fighter if, if you if you taught him uh. Ooh, Nost. Yeah, yeah. I think Nost would be. No, Nost is a good Nost's athlete. got some anger in him too, yeah. and I think that that, that helps. <laughs> it helps. So it's not about anger. You, you, but you don't have no athletic ability. I think I could, no, I can't take a punch, but I think I can, can throw, throw one. one? All yeah. Right. All right, I believe Yeah, you. Brett's got, uh, Brett's got like farm strength. Yeah. You can never my dad, farm my strength. dad used to, um, my friends and I, we would, when we were kids, give us boxing gloves and his uncle, oh. my uncle and him would uh, make us box and they got a kick mm-hmm. out of they that. Got, all right. Well, let's go, let's go to, <laughs> right, we're going to do another phone call here. We, uh, all right, who we got? We got Collider Live here. Who we got? Uh, yeah, this is Robert from Oklahoma. What's up, Robert? How you doing, man? Where the going wind comes today? sweeping down the plane. What do you got well? for us today? Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, uh, do you guys, I mean, have any plans at all to do like a like a schmodown nationwide tour at all? Because, you know, I, I would love to see a live event. Obviously, living in Oklahoma, it's kind of hard to, you know, just fly to L.A. Yeah, well, you know I what I would think, love to right. announce one day if we're doing one in Oklahoma. This is the way we sell it: is that we're barnstorming to Oklahoma. Yeah, barnstorming just sounds like a fun verb. He sounded like Beardo. Is that Beardo on the phone? That could be Beardo. What's no, barnstorming. Uh, we, barnstorming. No, it's it's like it, it's storming just like a barn. It's kind of like a midwestern. Term. It might be something from like a tornado or a twister or something. But it's like you're storming the barn to put on a production. Cow yeah. tipping. We do the the answer. We that, go cow The answer to that question is that we absolutely do have plans to do it. It's just in like, Oklahoma, Chris. All over. I be mean, honest. All over. I'll be honest with you because I think that the thing is, we with full screen who puts on the um, the events for us. We we have we, what we want to do is we want to show them we can sell this thing out mm-hmm. on um, for this last one. That means two events back to back that we sold out. So we want to sell that out, and then they're already talking to us about going to New York and Chicago and, and a bunch of places. So to, would New York be your next stop? That's where they want to go, but the thing for me also is I don't want to do the show. I, I would also probably want to sponsor on the show because I I don't want to I don't want to just go with me and you and then just like one uh, you know one big match and then th- then they maybe want to do a fan match or like which could be fun it, it could for American one thing, Idol but, not, crowd but, a little but bit. i think that the fans would want to come out and they'd want to see two big matches and i think that it, it, you they'd want to come out if you're like again in oklahoma you're in oklahoma you want to see like if there's a big event that's going to be on there, you want to see like the, all the the main talent come in, and then you want to also be able to go there and and maybe you can meet Kalinowski if he's not another thing. Maybe you can see something big happen. And it would, I want the production. I want to take the whole crew there. I don't want to just yeah. fly out. I yeah, but come. I think you yeah. I think you <laughs> undersell the fact that people do enjoy the vibe of the schmodown. It's and a different that, thing. And that people want to just come out and see whether it's two competitors, whether it's just you and me doing trivia. But it's like, not. I people know. People enjoy that stuff. Maybe so, but it's not the experience that you're giving the 
people in LA. I'd want to give people the experience in Oklahoma the same experience I gave them in LA. I want to give the people in, if we go to the UK, the same experience we gave them in LA. I want to make it a t- the traveling show. I don't want to just say, well, you know, they'll be happy with a trivia match because they just want to see a schmo down. I want to give them the event. I want it to count inside of the league. And so, again, that's why I make it so, uh, I'm trying to let you guys know how important it is. Come in and check us out on September 8th, schmodownlive.com with uh, the two big events. You got Merle and Roca versus Howard um, and Marshall versus in, and also Inman defending his championship against Mara Kanopic. So, so in thank short, you for your call. In, in short, you're telling Oklahoma no. I'm not telling that <laughs> at all. Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm for saying for better or for worse, Christians, is the day I met you. You don't know how to do make a B product. Like you want to do? It's not a B product no, if it's us going no, to a thing. I think that it's not the same. To product. him, it is. It's not the same. He did, he only knows how to like give it his all and do everything. Like I've right. never seen you be like, yeah, I'd be okay. Like. You know, with toning this back, that it's not in your vocabulary. It's just I just want to I just want people to have the full experience so that way it, it'll help build it. But let's take one more phone call and then we'll uh, then we'll see you tomorrow. What's uh all right? Oh, there you go, nice call. All right, hey, you're in, you're you're in Collider Live. Who do we got? Hi, my name's Ryan. Ryan, what's up, man? Hey, man, it's the first day of my senior year of college, God State Woo! Temple University. Nice. Woo, I've been cool. following you guys. Since the Toad Hop days, nice. um, film major, you know. Did you say really Temple excited. University? Cool yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Temple. Yeah. Philadelphia. Okay. Brotherly yeah. love. There nice. you go. So what's up, man? What do you got? Yeah. Digging it. Actually, I saw you, Mark, when you came um, back uh, last year. And anyway, was it a B um, product? Got, uh, no. <laughs> no, it was not. It was great. <laughs> so it bitter. Great. Um, I saw this week on the Washington Post, some one of their, uh, their movie critics there, they put up a list of their favorite movies of this century so far, of yeah. the 2000s. Um, and I was, and I saw, I think, what well, the flick put up some of their favorites. So I was wondering if I could hear you guys, oh, uh, what some of your favorites of this century will have been, like what what's held up, yeah. what's been kept in your rotation, and so on and so forth. Big fan. Thank you so much, you guys. Love Thank you, you for the call. So, thanks, man. I'm Ryan, flattered. I'm Go flattered. Out. Great call. Yo, Great way to out take this us century? out. What came out this century? Well, I mean, look, you got 18 years to, to <laughs> pull from. I, uh, There's I, only one answer. What what's is that? it? 13 hours. Stop it. Uh, see, you know what I'm going to pull? I'm going to pull. Yeah, that's the one you go to first at all the, uh, the 18 years okay, of look, the movies. In that my have... defense, the only reason I went to that one first is because it's the best movie to come out in the new millennium. What? Force Awakens is great. You're but 13 crazy. hours. You're 13 hours is great. The Owl movie is really good. Speaking of Temple, the yeah. Guardians of Gahul. I'm going to go Inception. I'm going to say um, De- really? Departed. I will say uh, Eternal Sunshine and Spotless Mind. I might have said Eternal Sunshine also. Uh, yeah, um, those are three that pop out. I mean, I'm sorry, there's, so, there's so many. Mark, Step Brothers. Mark, Mark we teach, uh, in, in, at USC, they teach 13 hours in film school. So. Thank is you. Is that true? That's RB3? a film student. RB3. Yo, yo is fight that, on, oh, baby. Hold on. Why, why, what do they do? What do they teach about it? Well, it's a, it's in our postmodern class, and it's all about like what we learned about like postmodern war films okay. and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. I mean, the movie itself is a good movie. It's not a great movie. It's a it's a great movie. No, it's good. Um, I do put the Force Awakens way up there. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Um, yeah, I, I think a lot of people would say the Dark Knight. I happen to go Batman dark Begins. Dark Knight, definitely Dark uh, Knight. Batman. I like Batman Begins better than the Dark Knight. Yeah. Wow. Wild. Yeah, Batman Begins is my favorite comic book movie of all time. Oh, Wolf wow, of Wall wow. Street. Wow. Wolf of Wall Street for me for sure. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. up. That's up there for me. It's one of my favorite movies. Of the all Avengers. Time. Yeah. Is up there I would, for me. See, I like I like Ultron. Uh, the the, the not Winter Ultron. Soldier. I like well. Winter Soldier was my favorite. I think after watching it now four times, I think uh, Infinity War is my favorite. Really? Yeah, I wow. love it. I love it. I, the first first two times, like I, I liked it a lot, and then I start. Wa- I mean, I love that movie. Right. I could watch that movie over and over and over. I want to see it, but Christian wouldn't give me the code because he's got to give them away. <laughs> Did you write a review on the <laughs> Apple Podcast? Yeah. Maybe you can win one. Um, so let's get actually let's get a couple of from the boys out there, guys. What's what's a movie in the last eighteen years you'd put in uh, in the top? Copster? I got the Social Network. That's my favorite movie. Social Network's oh, a good one. Wow. Yeah. Damn, I'm not going to lie. Split. Uh, Split's wow. one of my favorite. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cody Let's Hall? Ex Machina. Ooh. Good one. Wow. I, like where you, I like where your head's at. And then RB3? Mad Max Fury Road. Wow. Ooh. Okay, cool. And JTE and A still owe me sushi over that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I know Roka would say uh, Logan. He watches Logan? that movie every yeah. morning before he comes to work. That's no, that's <laughs> that's not an exaggeration. That's Fernandez. Uh, John Roka that's watches really? Logan. Every morning before he comes to work. That's an exaggeration. You're, no, you're making that up. Have you, you at the man's house? He's sitting right out there. He's lying. 
He does no way. He doesn't call. And now that he has a relationship, you think he's watching that every day with his with his lady? When he shave, he when he's shaving for two hours, he's pretending he's in the gloss. bathroom, yeah. flexing in the mirror, watching. Logan. Roxy, what did you put? Uh, it's kind of similar to you guys, I guess. As you guys were talking, I guess Dark Knight probably okay. would maybe would be number one. I what's love this about Logan? Sunshine. Oh, there, um, <laughs> oh, there he is. What's you, your what you saying about Logan there, Ellis? No, he, he, he said he me and Ethan it. Hawker, but, good friends. But don't but don't lie because this is because this is like we're trying to tell the truth here. He says that you watch it every morning. Just about. <laughs> Just about. I'm not going to lie to you. You Just watch about. it every morning? Yeah. It's, Your uh, lady lets you watch that every morning? The whole movie. Easy now. Don't get into my personal life. I'm uh, s- I <laughs> Dude, you know he did a full. You know he did a full segment on your personal life the last week. We did. She loved it. Out. She loved it. Do you watch it every week? Yeah, I just have it on DVR and I just put it on like like you would put on a morning show. Right. I just put that on. So what do you think about Ethan Hawke's comments? Are you oh, kidding? are you kidding? I tweeted about. It. I had to take it down, but I tweeted about because I was so <laughs> effing mad at him. <laughs> pretentious. Ethan Hawke is that asshole pretentious college guy who walks in all the time, sits conveniently in a place where he can be seen, and pulls out some ratty copy of a William S. Burroughs novel and reads it so people can see him. <laughs> Fuck him. Well, let me ask I'm you. So I'm mad Wait. at that asshole for saying well, shit about Logan. Well, you pretentious reality bites. You're in Valerian. Who are you to judge Wait, anybody? Roca, by Roca, being Roca, Roca, we actually have. Uh, I'm going to ask him something. Uh, Ethan, what, uh, Ethan Hawk, what are you? What are you work? What are you working on right now, Ethan? <laughs> that, that's a you, Brian. What? Oh, oh, oh that was perfect. So it was, I did well, think about you, jumping in. Yeah. That and assist would have yeah. been so good. Right, so Roca, are you still there? Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, we have Ethan Beardo. Do you have Ethan Hawk on the phone? Yeah, He's still working on his spoonsmanship. No. That's not, not as good. No. Wasn't as good. Would have been a lot better uh, if he would have hit it. No. No. Dedicated no. to his craft. So All right. So Be- Beardo, who was flawless, if, if he was fighting in the, if he was fighting in the UFC, he would now be nine and one. Yeah. Be nine and what one. What a shock! I knocked him out. Yeah. Nice. I All just right. I love the idea of Logan. Thank you, um, As a oh, yeah. morning show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because it's like yeah. Good Morning America. Our next guest is a murderous limo driver who has claws. Yeah. That's going to be really fun to watch. Riley, well, this was what? really fun to watch. I had a lot of fun talking. I guess to everybody my favorite here. movie. Yeah, I want to go Riley and Brett. What do you got? We got to go. We got to leave. <laughs> no, 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 what do you want? <laughs> All the movies you saw in the last like six months. Ooh. Royal Tannenbaums. I've oh, seen it more than a good one. Any okay, okay. Riley, give me one. Uh, no one. Country for Old Men. All right. That's well, there you go, guys. That was it. That was our show. We're going to be back tomorrow. We were supposed to have on Jamie Costa tomorrow, but he won't be here. Uh, we were going to have him soon. We have a really fun bit coming up with him that I'm excited about to debut. He's good at the bits. Yes. Mark Ellis, thank you for joining us here today. We'll yeah, see you next Monday. See you maybe Wednesday. Yeah, Roxy will figure out you're going to be Wednesday? Yeah, I think so. Roxy's on Wednesday. If Roxy does it, I'll do it. Rest of the crew, we will say to you guys, thank you so much. Make sure you head on over to Twitter, hashtag Cloud Alive, but go on over to Apple Podcasts, get a chance to win Avengers Infinity War. You have a chance to do it now, so subscribe, leave a comment. We'll catch you tomorrow.